Oh, you gotta go to the screen and hit the sound roll. Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. I know a little something, something. I know a little something, something. Somebody gotta teach this guy some things. Sorry. I'm, I'm a fucking hot mess. Good evening and welcome to Aces Up. I'm empty already. I just want you to know. Jesus Christ, bro. You waste no time. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. What's up, IG? What's up, FB? We not in FB yet, huh? Yeah, we in FB. What's going on, Facebook? It just went on. You know, fucking Facebook, Facebook and their delay and shit. Welcome to Aces Up. Episode 14. I'm Big Face. 14. That's Coach Nell. Coach Nell in I, the house. You said it right this time. Yeah, I said it right. I, I don't even know my own fucking name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I just want to hear something. Uh, it'd be nice, right? It'd be nice. Put on your damn headphones and you're fucking complaining about me. Ain't that some bullshit? Nah, he started already, y'all. Holy shit. I can't. I can't. Who's in charge over here? You are. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're in charge, bro. You're in charge. Not me. You're in charge. So... Before we begin, please like, share, comment. Comment all day, Facebook, IG. Talk to us. Let us know what's going on. Now. You good to drink? Oh, I need. Can you please uh, bless a brother like you, Jesus? Uh, I don't have my hair down. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. He did his work with his hair up sometimes. I do. Did he? I, never, I would like to see Jesus in a man bun. There's pictures of him like that. What 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 fucking church are you talking about that? I've I, never seen that. I didn't say he was at a church. Oh, I'm saying what said, picture? There's pictures of him like that. You just want it straight up? Yeah. But I'm sorry. My bad. Listen, I'm just trying to clarify. Like a prostitute with liquor. I need it straight up. Oh, ow. Aye. Aye, I can't. Today's show is going to be very, very interesting. But before we get to it, let Nelson get ready. You know, he's always delayed. You know? I, listen, I rode the yellow school bus and lick windows. Miss Rivera, or is it Mrs.? We got the same last name. I like that. Welcome. How you doing? Oh. Facebook. Hi, Miriam. You don't remember? No. That's Mala. Who? Mala. Hello, she's been to your house in Jersey. Nigga, like, I don't remember what I did yesterday. You want me to remember 12, 13 years ago? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> it What's wrong with this guy? It wasn't that long ago. Yo, these lights are fucking hot today. What the fuck? That, no, you, it's me. When it's people you? get around me. Oh, gotcha. You know, they get hot. Yo, I just don't understand this bullshit with my fucking, my Instagram on my phone. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. See, she's laughing. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure she remembers. Well, women tend to have better memory than men. I think that's a scientific fact, no? How do you figure that? How you think they start their bullshit? Wow. <laughs> uh, Are we starting too early? I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. Okay. I love y'all, but we know y'all don't y'all don't forget anything. Holy shit. Okay. My bad. That was a good one though. I like that one. Absolutely. I gotta minimize this shit. That was uh, a look. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she agreed. Oh, holy shit. That's hilarious. Sony, what's going on? Maria. What's up, baby? Oh, super My girl Maria. Su super buddy. Super buddy. And Sony from Sonia from my retard teachers. I can say that here. Because Mia's not here. Because Mia's not here. So you know. <laughs> oh what the hell she that's is. that's true. That's true. That's why men don't don't remember shit, because we don't want to remember. You're right. We're trying to get to the to the solution and the fun times. So I remember Miriam, everything. don't start this. I remember everything. No, I just well, you know, I am mm. not gonna say it on the air. I, I remember <laughs> when I remember when friends friends became family. I remember when family became enemies. No. We're gonna start this early. <laughs> How was your week? Let's talk about that first before we get to the topic. Uh, How was everyone else's week? Wow, well, yes. How was everyone else's week? I know down here, it was hot as balls, bro. Hot, hot. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I personally was running around taking, doing private sessions, um, baseball, softball. And then be, right before here, I'm actually going to coach um, in a flag football league that they're starting in Ponciana. Nice. So I'm going to put that link. So if any of you have friends have kids it's actually it's it's pretty much they're giving scholarships away 
So, um, so it could be the whole season is completely free. So I'm volunteering my time to coach um, one of their t- uh, one man. of the teams. What a man! Uh, I had to find. Remember, I, I had to find my footprint here. I had my footprint in New York. So now I'm just getting my feet wet. And you yeah. know, I always always volunteered my time in New York and um, like giving back to the community. So um, I'm gonna put the. It's gonna. I'm gonna put it on my social media um, pages. So if any, if you have any friends, if you're in the how you say Osceola, Osceola, because I got screamed on the other day because I said Osceola. Yeah, these Floridians take pride. So in the I, if you're in the Osceola, Osceola County, Opo County, or in any of those um, neighboring counties, you can be in Orange County if you could travel. Yeah, if you want to travel. So it's not that uh, far. Um, it, it's really catered to. Um, Trying to like underprivileged kids, kids that can't afford um, certain programs. Oh, that's yeah, nice. so that's we're gonna do that. Um, practice starts tomorrow. Um, registration ends on the seventeenth of March, so that is pretty much the last um, day to register. So there's more than enough time to still register and go and you know and um, and get your kid involved um, for football, and it's, it's great. I, I love coaching, so you you know that shit. I I be I be outside on the field in any type of field all day long, seven I, days a week. I love coaching basketball, but it gotta so. be it gotta be girls basketball because dudes don't listen, <laughs> and they don't remember anything, right, Miriam? <laughs> so I I rather teach the girls. How was but, your um, week? I'm you know I'm alive. Had a great session, Sila. Um, came to the studio and and she's laying some dope tracks. I I wouldn't say dope. I I'm gonna say probably tracks that's gonna be uh, memorable. Okay. So that's that's what she's aiming for. So loose eight oh nine and sixty nine purple eyes. Thank you for joining on the, no, on IG. My phone keeps shutting off. See? Oh, I don't know. Mine hang on. Mine got the little swirly thing like AOL dial up. Yeah, that's that uh, Android crap. Oh, here we go. Get your iPhone. I, I listen. Keep I am. It. I am. I am. Relax, bro. Relax. Come to the dark side. I'm gonna have two phones. I'm gonna have an Android and an and, a, um, and a, one of those iPhones. Wow. <laughs> wow. So uh, yeah, you know the week was great. Um, me has been me has been moving around. She looked like she's almost ready. Yeah, absolutely. I don't, I don't know if y'all ready for her. Word. We never ready for her. Can you even be ready for her? I thought I was. <laughs> you still you still working on it? <laughs> 18 years. So I hear you, bro. Uh but you know, we're here. We're here. I hear you. Um I am fucking hot though. I feel like her now. Uh, she be always sweating. And all I got is a tank top on. Yeah, dude, dude, aren't you like the man? You should have did some push-ups before you came on or something, at least. Right. Nah, I like showing my flab. Wow. I like showing my flab. It's sexy. Is it going to match the girl you want, or? Ooh, I have that even got to comment on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no total transparency right. right here. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. No. But, Shit, um, I've, I've lost fucking a whole bunch of yo. Everything fits me big, man. My waist, everything. I'm down 193 pounds. Healthy 193 pounds, not crackhead. One. I was about to say crack does it. No, but... no, 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 no. Hi, green eyes. Thank you for joining on IG. Yo, you gotta scroll, bro. We can't see current comments. There is no current comments. Oh, just checking. Yeah, that's it. Um, I see. I see. There's just stalkers, but you know, current comments. That's it. What do you think about Ukraine, baby? I think they're handling their business. Who, Ukraine? Yeah, I, I saw they took a, a tank down, and they got this one this one uh, pilot that's, that, that they call him the ghost. He laying a couple Russian, I mean, I, I you know, I don't know what's facts, because when I was over there, y'all wasn't getting facts. So I'm not expecting them to give y'all facts now. Green Eye, I got, listen, Green Eye said, where are the socks? I got the socks. I got the socks. Hold on. I got the socks. See, I got the Batman going right here, right? So I got the Batman going, but I got the socks. Show the sock cam. I got the Uh-oh. sock. I got this. Wait, let me put this down. Sock cam. Um, well, let me show you my socks, and then I'm going to tell a little story about the sock cam Uh-oh. incident, right? So I got my socks. See? Thank God his feet got, smell good. I got um, everything smells good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Every, I, whoa, whoa. Every, everything smells good. Let me everything. Go with this. Listen, I'm, listen, you know what it is. We got a delay, right? So I can't see my foot right now. 
Either way, there it is. There we go. All right, look. See, I got, I got, I got Batman. In honor of Batman coming out on Friday, The Dark Knight, we good. Oh, is, is another one? That's, so, that's only about the 17th one. I that's, think. that's this guy from Twilight. I can't even, uh, I yeah, can't even understand I, the I, stories anymore. I can't. Well, I gave up on it. I like the, the whole Dark Knight. Sony says your future wife might be might might be found might find you on his pockets. Maybe I don't know. Future wife, maybe she's got to love socks. So the future wife might end up here. Absolutely, might pop up. So funny story about my sock cam. So if you were if you guys haven't been watching from the beginning, and shame on you. Um. Oh, killers. Um. We had a sock cam. I'm big on socks. I coach in socks and slides. That's just my thing. I've, that's how I'm, you know, recognized. Um, so, you know, super I mega. Other, I do other things with socks. On right. Super mega producer. <laughs> super mega producer. Um, usually behind the scenes with my ace next to me. So we had the sock cam. We always, you know, display and give him a quick zoom. Yeah, zoom. nice. You know, nice show. You nice show. I'm my, my socks are fire. That's all right. We get back to it. So I sat down with my ace the other day, and I said, "Listen, I'm feeling a certain type of way." Certain type of way. You've been feeling a certain uh, type of way a lot lately. Yes, I have. I have. I'm in my. I'm in my emotions deeply, and um, I told her. I said. I'm very upset. I don't get angry, but I might get disappointed or upset. So I was like, I'm very upset because, you know, I understand you're not in the show and I understand the reasons why for now. But the most debilitating thing for me, and I think the highlight of the show, was the sock camp. And because that was the highlight of the show. <laughs> that's one of the biggest highlights of the show. And wow. While you're being here co-hosting, you know, the sock cam has been put on hold. And that just gave, you know, I felt a certain type of way. Don't you think I should feel a certain type of way? Uh, you know. Like, come on. Like, this, my socks are fire. Like, people are just, ran, they're chanting in Listen, the streets and I all heard. that. And I'm getting DMs all day long, all week about, yo, where the socks, bro? Where the socks? And I've been hearing for the past seven weeks while you guys were on the show why is super mega producer not on the show <laughs> I, we can't all get what we want listen but the sock cam comes first it comes before anything whatsoever bro i guess uh, anything i guess so j just so everybody understands nelson's been in his feelings lately he got mad at me because he said i didn't think of him you didn't so mia went and got it she's in she's back at the office and she she's got a new office and it looks big and it's pretty plain. So I told her, you might need a couple pictures of your husband around there. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get sexy with her, like get romantic and all that. And here this one go. Oh, you need to put one of coat. Don't nobody want your ass on the wall. I don't want to try to do something with my wife in her office and look at you. Now, I'm going to give context to this story. This, this, this you, know, man just said. you don't have to give I context. I have to give context to this story. First of all, that's that what you just proposed to her was not in my presence, so I did not know that. Second of all, when she told me about the whole office and she you wants. You thought you was the first one. No, 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 no. Let me, let me tell you, let me tell the story so the audience can understand. So she, she wants me to, hey, can you get this? Can you get that? Can you arrange this? Because I'm great at organizing and I think <laughs> things fall off a truck and things just end up in my hands. So um, I Sony, was like, okay. Sony said you should do a rocket kick. Yeah, for real. Yeah, so I can fucking <laughs> fall and never get up. Hello. Sony just wants to kill me. Hi there. So, um, okay. You can chill in the green room. Yeah, you can have a seat. We got guests. Room. We got guests. We got, what the fuck is that thing right there, bro? Like, we need to show that, but not right now. That's the new, that's the new, uh, dildo. So, so, you can't even see it, but anyway. No, it's a delay. It's a well, delay. We'll get it's it. All right. Up. But, um. It's all in my face, but it's all right. I can tell you how much of a hater she is right now. So. Let me finish my damn story. No, because so, you don't. You, so you're gonna tell a story. No, I'm. I'm giving context to the story that you said. We, so we have I the told, star of the story here. I now. told my ace. I told my ace. You know what would look great in your office was a picture of super mega producer and your ace, right? So 
She laughs and then sends me back and he says, oh, no, well, Big Face was like, no, just him. I'm like, wow, like, yeah. I think about because him. I'm telling the story of me trying to get some but in the I, office. I don't want to see his face on the wall if I'm trying to get some on the office. I wasn't, I, wasn't in, I wasn't in that presence. Absolutely not. So I don't know that. But the point is, I thought about you completely. No. If I'm talking about getting coach now, I don't want to think you about need you. to call me coach now. I don't want episode. you to coach me Fuck in that, that situation either. I'm in my feelings right now, and that's some bullshit, bro. Jesus Christmas. I'm never thinking about you ever again. Absolutely not. That's a lie. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> I can't. I should have hit the fairy tales, but you know, I got this big ass bottle in the fairy way. Fairy tales and I can't lies. even see the buttons. Hey. Who it, brought this bottle in here? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody in our audience tell us what the hell this shit it's is? The new, it's the new vibrator. It's the new vibrator. Oh, oh, are you supposed to squeeze it? So or where is it? Oh, look, listen, this is like. Oh, it's, it's a button right here. Oh, it's there's a button. button. You don't you don't push down? Oh. Oh, oh look, look, it squirts downward. For all you, so, for all okay, you brats. There you go. For it's. Brats. Squirts downward. Look yeah. at look at this. Look, the culito squirt downwards. That's it. See, this culito squirt downwards. Oh wait, we got another glass. We gotta fill. Hold up, please. Wait, we got that many people in the room. Holy shit! We what gotta, the we fuck? We gotta limit the green room. I don't. I don't know about this. Well, when, when we place the wall and door, it's like we're gonna have the sign. You know. Well, why we gotta do this? We're on the show and we doing this. This some bullshit though, right? No one even told us to do it. Yo, how much are you so pouring for? Yo, you stop the vibrator it keeps going. How do you stop? Stop it. Oh, oh. My God. Yo, that kind of felt good in my hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get this bottle away from Nelson. Let's get this bottle away from Nelson, please. Let's put it over here on the side. Lord. Oh my God! Yes, yes. So back to my week, Sasha. Thank you for joining us on Instagram, and Ethel. Thank you for joining us on Instagram. Appreciate you. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right. <laughs> I'm still waiting for Nelson to do a rocket kick. Nelson ain't doing shit, bro. Cause I won't get up. I'm good. I mean, I, I, my nose guys will hurt, and that's it. It'll be a wrap. Oh, I'm sorry. So everything went good, you know. Um, Go ahead, speak about your fucking week. You've been all fucking all antsy about it and shit. Like if I was interrupting you, let, I was letting you let your feelings out. Okay, my feelings are out. Okay, we're good now. Let's go. This guy, okay, how's your week? This guy's hurt. Yo, isn't it hot in here? Boy, I tell you. See, yeah, right. It's hot. It's just me. Every time people get around me, they get hot because I'm hot. Okay. Oh shit. Hello. Uh, all right. That's what happens when you go to go to work. Everybody, everybody around you gets hot. <laughs> Wow, and that and that's coming and, and that's coming from. I'm starting to feel away now. <laughs> I'm getting in my feelings now. This is not nice. All right, let me stop interrupting you because lo, lo malo se pega, you know. And go ahead, tell me about yeah, your week, because, bro. Yeah, because you know, y'all, 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 for real. Y'all, y'all, y'all just interrupt everybody, even each other. I ne actually, I don't really interrupt her a lot. Oh, her, her, her. but she's not on the <laughs> show right now. God damn it. We just finished talking about that. Okay. Big big, um, big face. Jesus. How was your week? Look at that. I said it in the sexiest voice I can take. It was great. I worked hard. Okay. Then I worked hard. Uh-huh. Then I worked hard. I worked hard to work hard. Motherfucker, we waiting for that shit? Yeah. I thought it was something interesting or some shit like you were riding your bike and you caught a bug in your mouth or some shit like that. You almost choked. Uh, uh, Someone had to do the Heimlich maneuver. Not yet. Not yet. All right. You might like that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I heard some people like getting tied down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on here? <laughs> we just went from riding bikes to getting tied down. Uh, muchacho. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's that button? This shit is I don't, yes, far. Look, look. look you better, Who's in charge of this look stuff here? This shit is all far, and then you don't even know the buttons. I don't. I don't I don't know how to press buttons. All right, so I didn't come up with this topic, but I think it's a great topic. I, I don't know. He, he must have gotten his feelings again and, and came up with this one, but you this know. is a great topic. Well, it's, you know, I drive. When when I'm driving, I just get lost. You drive? Thoughts. I drive. I don't ride bike, but I drive. So I, I get lost in my thoughts, and when I get lost in my thoughts, all these things come up. Well, why are you lost in your thoughts? Mm -hmm. Watch, Watch your mouth. When friends, Watch your mouth. <laughs> I, I want to break this down before we talk about the whole thing together. Okay, go ahead. When friends become family. Right. Blood is not thicker than water. Well, yeah, that doesn't hold any weight anymore. Absolutely. Let's get that clear. Absolutely. I, I know that for a fact. And I know that because I'm adopted. 
And they're not my blood, but they're thicker than me. So. And the thing is that you met your, well, a lot of your family you've met, like, later on in life. Yeah, Yeah, recently. recently. Um, Shout out to uh, Tasha. That It was her birthday. That's my oldest sister um, out there in Brooklyn. But Brooklyn! um, And yesterday was my mother's birthday, my biological mother. Oh, my God. There's Pisces all over the place here. Yeah, don't, talk to, don't talk about Pisces. Uh, uh, r- relax there, Pisces. We have a Pisces in the, in the green room today. So, yeah. yeah she, her birthday, she's she's her feeling birthday herself. Is, is, is coming up or is it? did it pass already? Did it pass or is coming up or is today? Listen, don't give me that face. Hey, I'm not my shirt. I know it's I know it's shirt out of here with this Pisces stuff. Yeah, and a rocco papasi amor. What the mercado coming up in this bitch, bro? Oh my god. When is it? Is it today? Oh, Wednesday. Oh, okay. Oh, so you 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 celebrating before your birthday? Oh, but you that's know it's bad luck. You know that, shit. right? No, who told you that? No. Nobody believes in that suspicious crap. I don't know. But they believe in zodiac signs. Yeah, they believe in that, but you know, whatever. So yeah, you you have a very ex- this shit. we have a, you have a very extended family. Oh, uh, it's it's really extended. And then you're getting to know a lot of your extended family. Talk about taking an inch and going a mile. I don't know what they did. You know how Puerto Ricans are. They breed well, they, like they like have roaches. Cuban too. And you know how Hispanics well, are. They breed like they breed like roaches. My sisters are Dominican. I got Panamanian. I got so. But back to the topic. That's my biological family, but my adoptive family is is not water. It's more like blood. So, um, that's because they've shown it. Facts over and over. They've been consistent. So, in regards. what qualifies a friend to become family? Consistency in their actions. Hundred percent. It's. I mean, I can. I can speak. For you, your family to me, for what, how you have shown me over the years, you've done more for me than family members have done yeah, for yeah. me. Vice versa, I know. Yeah, you know. Right. So right. it's yeah. it's 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 it both ways. It's not about the blood anymore. It's a, and it's about just being there for a person on a consistent basis. Being there, you know. Time in and time in and, you know, all the time with someone and not asking for anything back and just genuinely being there for that person. Like, you generally love that person. And um, that's, I think, where friends become family. Now, I think everybody has a different definition of it because when do you consider someone who's a friend a family member? Like, some people will say, oh, they did this one thing for me. Oh, they like family. You know, oh, that's fam. That's fam. I hear it all the time. Uh, how long you know him? Two months. I'm like, oh, uh, oh, pretty boy. You're speaking of a, a friend who becomes family. Yes, absolutely. Yo, you just came right on time. Came right on time. Ray. Right on time, Ray. This this Ray Ray is is a friend of the family, but he's my brother. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a difference. Like, you know, a lot of people, um, you just meet somebody and you say, oh, that's like my that's my. That's my yeah. Like you hear that? That's my family. That's why you say, "How long you know? How long uh, you guys know each other? Oh, three months. Thin, How the fuck you consider him family? Love, in three months. Tough love, thick and thin. That's Ray. Thick and thin and tough love. You know what I'm saying? And and, and Ray, he called you thick. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> all that fed me. All that fed me. He said you thick. But um, I guess I guess it, it goes into the it goes into the second part because you just said it's consistency, right? Right. So you, you got a friend who's consistent, who shows love, who's been there through thick and thin. How does that how does that turn into an enemy? That's that's gotta be bad. Sasha goes, it's years, it's she, circumstances, events, support. There's a lot. Right. Absolutely. Right. right. It's circumstances, events, the type of events, supporting. But that's why I that's it's why a lot. that's why I say that's a good recipe. That's thank you, Sasha. That's why I say um that bullshit about, you know, oh, no, no, a couple of weeks or a couple of months or a year. Yeah, that's fam and blah, blah, blah. Like, honestly, really, you really don't know a person until you go through some shit. Friends or family. Until shit happens to you, you really don't know, as they say, the term ride or die. So you don't really know how a person is going to respond in an event 
that something happens to you. And that's when you really know when who your family is, who your friends are, and who your frenemies are. And that's what I say. That's what I call a, a friend who becomes an enemy. is a frenemy. So, you know, there's... I, listen, I've known people that I've known for many years. And... Not I. I don't have enemies. I just that's just the way I I formulated I the topic. I I don't. I I, I I will. I have no enemies whatsoever. In I mean, sense, they think I'm an enemy, right. but I don't think they're right. Enemy. I don't have. I don't have enemies. How they view me is. Yeah. Yeah, Sasha. You we have that we have that hate hate relationship. We got I don't it. know I got if that's hate hate. <laughs> if that's hate hate, I she's hate always to trying that. to kick me in my won't. fucking to- in my mouth to talk knock my tooth out. Well, I think, that's some vicious shit. I think we need to see it happen so we you could come back on the show too. First. Oh my god, bro! I'm like holy shit. But yeah, there's just people that I've known for years, and then all of a sudden they became very distant. Or their behavior question, I made me question, bro, like everything that you said and, you know, maybe a couple of things you did over the years, were you really fake? Like, that's really what fucking, that's who you really are. And that's, um, that's and what I'm saying. Hence, and I'm going to ask you this, hence why, you know, Save on how many friends do I have? I'll let you count it. I can't actually I really don't know. Exactly. I don't have friends. I mean you got Ray. Keep going. Um Yeah. See, I won't wait. No, I know. I'm saying because I know you have a lot of acquaintances and you have a lot of business. I have day ones. I have day ones. Yeah. I have friends and I have friends who are family. Yeah. But the the ones who are family, those are the only ones that I really like. You know what I'm saying? Me? I, That's I two. Okay, keep going. I won't wait. <laughs> I can't I can't fill my hand up. That's my, that's the one thing. My daughter is my friend. My daughter is in that bracket. I don't have Sila and I will give will give me five. Will give me five. That's it. Okay. I can't you know why? Because I can't do I can't I can't But that's five is good, bro. Like, like five is fucking I can't good. deal with, with with multiple personalities. Everybody's first of all, have you met my wife? I was about to say that's how did enough. You, how did you get fucking married if you don't like a person with multiple personalities? That's that's enough. Excuse that's me, enough. People, I'm hungry. That's enough. So I I don't I don't deal with it. I've I've had many friends in my in my lifetime that are now enemies. That wanted to be brothers. And, and then when you say and, enemy, it's and, not that you see them as enemies, but they see you as an enemy. And let me and let me add Beast Mode, who, who is currently not here, but that's like my brother. He's protected me in so many ways and so many and, and people think because he's in this situation that he's a bad person and he really isn't. But you know, that's neither here nor there. The point is One that, Godfather, that's right, Victor. Woody. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so it's just you know, like you and Sasha said, it's it's the events, the consistency, and all this stuff in a, in a boiling pot makes you makes you family. But then you do some fucked up shit that turns that family title into an enemy. Oh. And it, it's really got for me. You really got to. Well, fuck people up. start running. They start like they don't want to. They don't want to be in the trenches with you. Like, well, let's not. Let's not. You got to tell both sides of the story too. You can't just say, oh, this person is my family, and then something happens, and then all of a sudden he's an enemy. That's not how that shit works. That's, it can't be how it works. Well, they were never a friend to begin with. There we go. You, they were never a friend to begin there with. There we go. So because if you, if you snap as soon as they do something wrong, mm-hmm. you didn't have that feeling for that person anyway. It's self-interest. I've had, and vice versa. I've had, I've, I've had countless um, relationships with people that, um, they have shown me their true colors, um, and not even something happening to me, but it has happened. But um, just, just, just really true colors, and hey, I've, honey. I've had. Well, I've never actually had anyone that did me wrong ever actually come up to me and apologize, because they never had the fucking balls to do it. So I, I can't I I've can't say that. I they're not they're not my enemies. Are I, you obligated when they apologize to go ahead and, and still put them uh, in that category? No, 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 no. I mean it's it's 
it's your choice if you still want to forgive them. It's every, you know, you got to take every situation uh, uh, on its own merit. And, but, now, and now, who hurts you more? Would it be a friend or an actual family member? Who would hurt you more? I don't know. I mean, it depends on how close the relationship. Because I could be, I, I'm, I'm closer with people that are not family. Like I'm really close, and um, because my fa my family is all spread apart. So uh, that's, that, that's that Cuban shit. Yeah, that's that Cuban shit. So they're all spread apart. So, but it is it really just depends on the relationship that I've had with that person. Like, and and for example, I had a I had a person in my life who who said that would ride or die with me and blah 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 and you know, and lo and behold, fucking did me dirty. Yeah. And, no. Oh, not me. No. Just check. I actually asked her. I said, "Yo, have I ever even gotten angry at you or everything?" She was like, "No, absolutely not." And bro, she does some things that can piss you off. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Lord. I thought I was the only one. Woo! Uh, Sasha says, "Depends on how your relationship is with the family." Yes. Yeah. So the relationship is important in regards to context, in regards to the situation. Woody says, "Family are the worst enemies," but that's because there's an expectation that family won't hurt you. Right. That's They're, why right. I think it may Absolutely. be worse. And Absolutely. if you put a friend in that bracket, if you put a friend in that bracket, that hurt is going to be the same as if a family member hurts you. And this is the thing. There's also there's families that, first of all, families are biased, you know, when it comes to family members, right? Why? Like siblings, because it's family. So I always said sometimes families give the worst advice to their own family members because they have a biased opinion. They don't, they don't, they want to, if you're in a good, let's say if you're in a good But family, is that because you're biased to the family member? Because you expect them to be positive all the time? No, 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 no. I'm, uh, what I'm saying is, uh, say, say a, there's a brother and sister, right? And mm -hmm. say the sister is, is in a relationship, right? And the sister's having some issues with, in, within that relationship. And the brother is going to be protective of the sister, right? So whatever advice, in the most part, I'm not saying everybody, but uh, uh, many times that brother is going to be protective of his sister and give the advice and say, you know what, you need to think about yourself, blah, 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 so forth and so on. Let me, before, I'm sorry. I, I just want to say that if Sasha keeps this up, she's going to be my sister. Oh, Sasha wrote S M P A K A Superman. She, wow, she, she even gave me. you. She gave you an acronym. She loves me. Oh, fuck. She. That's gonna be my sister. Hi Daisy on the IG. So, yeah. um, yeah. So he's gonna give a, a biased opinion, regardless if he hears the, the complete story or not. You know what I'm saying? Because he's only in this case he's only hearing his sister's side of the story. So he's he's already biased because he wants to be protective of his sister, and he's only going to go by what his sister says. Now, without having the context of whatever the situation is, he might be giving the wrong advice to his sister. But because that's his sister, it is what it is, and that's what's going to happen. And a lot of times, a lot of relationships end up on the wrong side of the tracks because of the advice given by family. And then I'll wait till you finish. And then all of a sudden, oh shit! Like it just spirals. It was it, it becomes fucking now. All of a sudden, there's enemies involved, and, and you know everything that the whole that whole relationship was just went to shit. Well, here's here's what I think about advice. First of all, unsolicited or solicited. It it, it really doesn't matter if it's solicited or unsolicited because it's the person that's hearing the advice that needs to be able to determine if it is and if it's bias. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say why. If you're getting an advice, if you're getting advice from a stranger, would you automatically think that it's honest, unbiased advice because it's a stranger? Yeah. How many times have you spoken to a stranger in the street and they gave you advice and you said, damn, that's true. Yeah, because they have no context. They don't have. They don't even have one side of the story. So does that make it good advice because they don't have context? Not that I'm saying it's good advice, but it, it okay. gives you a different perspective. Okay, but here's the thing. Now let's say hi T. Let's say a family member gave it to you mm -hmm. because they have context. That doesn't mean they have all the context either. That's what I said. He, they only right? know one side of the story. Right. But me, for example, Mia gives me her advice. 
She tells you what to fucking do. Exactly. Forget about advice. But that doesn't mean that I listen to her. No, I am. Yeah, I understand that. Well, hence yeah. why she always mad at me. <laughs> right? But it's because it's advice. It's a recommendation. It, it's not. So it's yeah, up but to you. Yeah, under, but understand that when it's family, that influence is very powerful, especially if it's a strong knit family. I, I disagree. It's, it's very. It yeah. doesn't influence me. Because I have, I as you as you said earlier, I have a, I have a hundred, hundreds yeah, but of family you, members. You're just you're. It's not like you grew up with your family for thirty five years. Okay, and strong even in. Sid, I spoke to Sid the other day for like two hours, and he gave me some advice. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna follow I, I, it. I, know. I I just I gotta listen to it because it's his perspective. To what your point right. is, is he may not have all the context because mm -hmm. he's not here. But sometimes the stuff that they say is based on the fears that they have. You ever heard Jay-Z say people put fears on you because they don't want you to exceed their fears? Oh, that, I heard that. We were having dinner the okay. other night, and he said that. I, right. I, I understand so it now. Sometimes advice is given based on fears that people have, and they want you to have the same fear. Well, yeah, that's what I'm. but it becomes biased. That's what I'm saying. But th because of that, that's what I'm saying, such a strong influence that – it's it it becomes like oh yeah because you expect the fam that's why right, you expect strong, the right yeah, so yeah. like you on the other hand is like you know okay you'll listen to it but then you're gonna make your own decision most people in in that scenario will take that advice and put a lot of weight on it you know what I'm saying instead of actually okay taking it absorbing it maybe that's why I don't have friends uh, maybe maybe I don't know. because I don't I don't I don't um, listen to people like like I I listen and I hear everybody but. I don't, I don't take everybody's recommendation and say, oh, I'm going to run with that. I don't even take my wife's recommendation all the time. Look, what do you say? she my... might be one of the most intelligent people I know. She's not as street smart as some of us, but. Woody said, my brother came home after 17 years, never failed to take my mom's every month. A year after that, he comes home and dismissed the family. Mm, and that happens, right? That yeah, happens. It happens. But that doesn't, that, but see, in that case right there, Woody, does that one thing dismiss the 17 years of consistency? Now, is he an enemy? You see what I'm saying? This is where I was talking about you have to take that context now. Why is that person your enemy now? If 17 years they did right and then the one thing they did wrong, I don't know. I don't have. I don't have. Uh, you don't have the complete story. Right. But I'm saying. And, I mean, but 17, a lot years, of cases, 17 years changes someone. That's like, that's like my, my little brother. Don't nobody top my little brother. I don't care what nobody says. Nobody tops my little brother, Sid. I grew up with him. We came from an orphanage. I grew up with him. We've been through the shit. We've been through everything. He saved your life. Exactly. So it's not like when he talks to me, I take it with a grain of salt. No, I listen to what he say. But that doesn't mean I do everything he say. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we're not talking about doing. We're talking about how, how if someone says it wrong, influences. If he did something wrong to me, I, because I'm biased to him. So if he did something wrong, I'm going to say to myself, this is Sid. Yeah, but what, what? He doesn't automatically become a friend of me because he did something wrong. Now, does it depend on what he did? No. So it doesn't matter what he would do? No. And that's, that's, okay. that's the difference between somebody who I just met and I say, yo, this is my brother. La, la, la. Like, I, I love him like a brother. Now, if he did something wrong... I may not treat him like I do Sid. Right. That's just me. So is Sid, so you're telling me if Sid, there's nothing Sid could do in this world, in this lifetime. Never. That. Never. Won't, will ever put you in a position that you won't ever speak to him or anything like that. You know nature. why? You're going to tell us, right? Yeah. Okay. But I, I thought, you know, I mean, I you, know you don't, you know no, Sid. No, I want to know. You know I Sid. I know Sid. But you don't. You, the one they want to know. Everybody who knows Sid know that he would never cross a line that bad. So if he does it, there's a reason behind it. So Victor says anyone who wants to assault him is their enemy. <laughs> well, that's 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 a little bit different, bro. That's, I mean, you assault, gotta you gotta survive, bro. Assault, at that you point. gotta take it to the hands, or you know, yeah, do absolutely. what you gotta do after that. That's assault. She. Well, you know, we talking about you come at me. A disrespect I got something in a for you. Format, yeah, that's. That's different. Like, there's different dis disrespect that could turn a friend into an enemy yeah. immediately. And this is, ain't this the crazy matter shit? Matter of fact, I got, one, I got one for you. Oh, boy. I had an artist. We're not going to say his name. You know uh, who it is. Uh, you know who uh, it is. Uh, I had an 
artist. I okay. treated him like a brother. I knew him from the trap. I knew him when we was getting down and dirty, right? I bring him into my house. I let him record for free. I even put him on the label. I called him my brother. Wait, how long did you know this dude? 2012. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Yeah, 2012, which is more than I've known CeeLa and MI, and I consider them very close to me, right? So he did, he did, what's the word? He did the. He did grimy. Grimy. Grimy is the perfect word for it. And there's no, I don't care how much liquor, how much, whatever you did, it doesn't, it doesn't make it right. It doesn't say, oh, let me, let me. You're not going to disrespect my house, my wife, my daughter, and think it's cool. Absolutely. So that's an example. I mean, I'm not going to give too much details because it's, it's. That's more than enough. It's just one of those. The whole point is the context is that I've known him. I consider him a brother, a family member. He freaking ate in my house, slept in my house, did everything in my house except other things. But I considered him a brother, and he went and did, did me wrong, and I cut him off immediately. Isn't it funny, though? Immediately. Isn't it funny when situations like that happen, when friends show their true colors? They won't speak to you. Because they know they owe you an apology, but they won't speak to you just for the simple fact that they owe you an apology. Oh, there's a lot of that. That's some shit. You know why? Because they don't think they owe you an apology. Well, yeah, that's... Well, they, no, and one says they, their pride and ego think, I don't owe an apology, but in their silence towards you just, just justifies that, damn, I gotta, I gotta, if I do talk to them, I gotta, I, I have to say something. And... They don't want to deal with that that those circumstances, and that's fine. That's fine. Listen, I've I, I've ex, I don't, I, I don't like say, to deal with them circumstances either. As they say in uh, stay in, away in John Wick, excommunicado. That's it. I've I've done that to a lot of people. Um, I've not gotten angry. I've haven't I haven't gotten after them or anything of that nature because why waste my energy on that? And like I've I have a big family, and I know within my family, um. There, there are grudges, and they, for years, years, like, I'm talking brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, um, sons and um, moms and sons and daughters, and, like, how do you consistently give your energy to holding grudges to people like... Bailey, what's up, baby? A freaking, like, when holidays come or birthdays and all that, well... I'm not going because he's not going. She's going. I'm not going. That kind of bullshit is. That's a lot of fucking negative energy, and it's exhausting. Hey, hum, oh, how you say that? Harmonious. Harmonious healing. healing. Yeah, princess. Thank you for joining us. So, um, but here's a here's a second part to that. I got one for y'all. When what about when by, your blood family becomes enemy? Mm. 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 How you feel about that, Green Room? <laughs> come on, come on. We missing we missing another person in the green room for that one. We we I'm might, pretty sure that other we, person would just, have just, some comments. Yeah, we we um we might have a sp Oh, gunshots. Gun Wait, shots. let's everybody duck. I don't duck for those. Yeah, ones. we don't duck. This, you know you're from New York if you don't duck. You just look around. We might have a special guest. We're we're kind of um poking the bear to see if, you know, liquid courage, I guess, might be might be in it in trying, it, you know. We're trying to feed the guests a lot of liquor. So Woody says, just came from a family funeral. Woody just said, just came from a family funeral this afternoon. Saw a cousin. It's family, not family. Fam I'm sorry. Family. I can't enunciate all the time correctly. It's that corona. Who had beef with other cousins because I'm cool with everyone. And those other cousins wouldn't acknowledge me. Go figure. Exactly. That's that's some that's the bullshit that we're dealing with. Like, yeah, like oh, you're friends with him. Well, I'm not gonna be friends with you. That's some height. That's some like grade school shit. You know that goes nah, on. Nah, 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 nah. No, nah, but nah, it starts, nah, nah. don't you? It, it just depends. But this right. just because another level. Let me pose this level. question to you. Let me pose this question to you. God forbid if I pass away today. Mm -hmm. You think all of me as family members are going to be allowed in the room? 
Oh, fuck no. Okay, then. Absolutely not. Okay, then. Absolutely not. And we have context. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so absolutely it's, it's not. not. So I understand that. But, you know, I, I at the same time, hey, thank you for trying to pay respects, but you ain't welcome here. Absolutely, yeah. Pay I, respects. Go light a candle in your house. Yeah. Connie, exa- Connie said on IG, exactly. They won't speak nor make an effort, so just, so just respect the dead. But, Connie, <laughs> even, if they, absolutely. even if they make the effort, Connie, even if they make the effort, does is that does that make a difference? I mean, to you? Can, I mean, it, it, again, it, it all depends on what happened. You know, it, there's there's people that are forgiving. Um, they are. I'm uh, forgiving. I just, I just. If listen, I, forgive I can you, forgive you, but it doesn't mean I can. I have to fuck with you. Yeah, exactly. That's, That's what I was you about know to what I'm say. saying. Yeah, you hit the, I can forgive. Hit the nail I can forgive. Right I there. can forgive. Listen, I'm a forgiving person. I I forgive my ex wife. I forgive a whole bunch of people in my life. Um. Don't mean I fuck with you. There's only one person that I don't forgive in my whole life. Yourself? No. Uh, I I, I forgive myself because I know I'm stupid sometimes. So? It's my son's mother. I never forgive her. Oh, okay. But, you know, I I still think that she was an okay mother. I just don't, you know. With you, yeah, there's just a different type of vibe. Yeah, because I I just don't fuck with, um, excuse my language, I don't, I, I, I don't. I don't feel like when you forgive somebody, it. it well, people think because you forgive them, everything is uh, everything is peachy okay. and, ra- and there's rainbows okay. and skittles are gonna Listen, rain down. I forgive you. God bless you. I wish you success, but don't come around me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, don't don't. Uh, I don't trust you no more. Yeah, I just uh, that's that's big with me. Like if I if you you do you do me dirty. First of all, you do me dirty, and then you you skip around the shit. You 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 beat around the bush. You go around the exactly. corner. Exactly. Woody go, hit it. Woody hit it. Forgiveness, forgiveness is for not, you. Yes, not it is. for them. Absolutely. Forgive me. Point, Woody. Forgiveness gives me peace of mind that I don't need to continue dwelling and wondering why this person did this and why this person did that, so forth and so on. And it is. Sasha goes. That's right. Sasha. Your fingers must hurt, bro, because you be typing. She on it. She on Shit. it. Like always. Like always. She, she called us last week. Yeah, absolutely. It was a long call. Yeah. It was a long call. Too long. <laughs> but listen, I got the I got the call. I got the call earlier today. Uh yeah. That somebody was roaming around here. Oh, really? So we're gonna oh, see. Oh, okay. We're gonna got see. You. Good, got you. Absolutely. Yeah, but I you know, I I I listen, I actually I've forgiven everybody. Um I've I've at one point, I only really hated one person in my life, and that's I was young, and uh, I didn't know any better, and I held it. I held, I held that animosity in me for so many years that my previous relationships were fucking doomed to begin with because of all that animosity that I had. And once I let that go, it was like a whole weight just was released from me, and I saw it with so much more clarity things, and. I was able to be at peace with myself. So once I was at peace with myself, I was able then to function in a much higher capacity. How do, how do you become at peace with yourself? I, I don't, I, this is therapy for me because I'm like, you know, I've, I've done a lot of shit. To other people? That I'm not proud of. Yeah, but it's, uh, you, have to forgive, you have to forgive yourself in a sense that, okay, you know what, I, I I've whether learned. I've was, learned from whether it. Whether it was for my country or it was for yeah, but I've, it I've, was for my family. But I've I've learned from it, and then I'm not doing those same mistakes, and I'm gonna get better as a person. All we can do every day is get better as a person. We can be better than the the previous day. That's that's all with it. But as far as someone forgiving you, you have no control over that. Absolutely. I, I don't. Yeah. I, I don't care so about anyone forgiving me except for the people that I love, because if I hurt them. I, you know, it it must have been something. It, there's a reason behind it, not an excuse. And I don't get. Listen, I don't get angry. Like because you have to do something really grimy to me, grimy, like really so disrespectful, uh, because I'm very loyal. And if you take that <laughs> loyal, you were telling people my business. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> my business is not your friend's business. That's my motto. I hear you, Woody. I hear you. So. I'm I'm very loyal. So when you take that loyalty and you just take it and just fucking stomp on it, um, I've learned now, especially in in my old age. Uh, you know what? Thank you for the years that we were good. I've learned from it. I wish you well. 
And if, and when I say I wish you well in my in my brain, karma's gonna come you and bite you in a fucking ass really hard, like three Rottweilers, and a fucking Doberman is coming from the front, and God, and I hope I hope you have diarrhea for the next twenty five years. Anybody's but mad? That's my subconscious. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> but um, I let that shit go, and I just don't fuck with you. And I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> like what, Nelson kicking you two thousand? Per- Listen, see, Sasha's one. I'm just gonna explain. I need to, I need to let go of Sasha and just release her. Like you release koi fish into a pond, and then woo, because wow. bro, wow. I'm, I, I, she's wow. freaking dangerous. Absolutely that. Yo, are you, are you good? You good? All I want to say is, I love the bartender. <laughs> And Harmonia says, in time, you learn to forgive yourself, and it takes time and work. Yes, you forgive yes. yourself. That's right. You forgive yourself, and then you it's easier to forgive other people. You know, it's and, and it's it's a great thing. Um, but but this is the thing. You know how you have friends and family. It's amazing how fr- until something happens, friends and family will be friends and family. Un- and they'll never announce that they're a hater. They'll be envious. They'll, uh, they'll be um, jealous. But behind the scenes. Friends and family can easily be treated the same. Absolutely. Easily be treated the same. The only pass that you get is that you share the same DNA as me. That's all it is. That's the only pass you get. Because I've grown up in a world where I've done things and friends have done more than my family. What about your friends? Right? Not saying, not taking any, anything away from the family because you can't, you, in my case, I can't forget that my family adopted me, raised me, they took their time out, they gave me their love, they taught me, they took me to school. Every, you can't forget that stuff. Now, let me ask you something. When you found uh, your biological family, right? how did you feel? Like... Excited because you know you did I, you have any animosity? Did you have any thoughts of I love the bartender? Cheers. Um that you didn't have any animosity of why they gave you up and you know, because I mean I I'm, did, I did, you know, I did, I did. I think you know, you have, too. Yeah, you know, you have a feeling of abandonment. There's no, there's, there, there was animosity, but you know, it and, and it really became animosity to be honest with you when I met Mia because because there were things that her family did oh so you compared yeah okay it was like you know like where the hell is my biological family so I can do this with them gotcha I did it with my adopted family like you know Thanksgiving and things like that but I was young it wasn't until I got older when I was like you know like what the hell you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do this with my parents. I want my parents to cry when they talk about me, too, and be proud of me and things like that. So you do have a family that does all of that. So uh, I have a, a humongous family now. So I thought I, I thought I bought a big enough house for them. It's apparently not big enough. No, not hell no. There's plenty of room here, but not for, not for your side of the family. Jesus Christmas. But remember, you're still getting to know them, and, you know... Even I, even though they're family by blood, you're still getting to know them. So it's like yeah, there's some there's some trials in there. I, I think they're still getting to know me. Where I'm I'm kind of you ready, weird. son? I'm kind of weird. Yeah, well, you gotta I, yeah, do some push ups in the yeah, green room or something. I, I think I think I th- I think you're I, yeah yeah I think you're ready. Why? You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I got you. Why? I got you. Why? Why all the all the the pretty intelligent girls are always scared to be out in public like that and talk yeah. their mind and things like that? I don't know. But Is she that be, another topic? But she be going live all the time. Like, like where? In, in, on her social media. She don't go live all the time. She just takes a lot of pictures. No, she goes live and she has a woman empowerment um a day during the week. Yeah. Well, I mean, pro- say what's the. Can we no, she could do that when she comes on. Oh, see, that's where that's a segue. Yeah, 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 right yeah. Let's go. We're gonna, go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go into get that segue. Cup. Let's get you some wine. And yeah, bring, she's good. We yeah, go. we got it. This Here is go. this is the segue. How we? Uh, this is how we do segues. So I, listen, five, you okay, let's just work for five seconds. Yeah, we we'll, we'll, we'll give you five seconds. These seats are heavy. We'll give. You, no, they slide now. They slide. So. Um, for many of you who have been following our podcast, we have a we have a groupie called Sasha, right? Wow. 
<laughs> and um, Sasha usually has a lot to say. Just, 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 just. I like those sneakers. So, um, you are, you are, you are. Hold on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Here, here's some headphones. Here's some headphones. We're gonna unmute, unmute you, unmute you, unmute you. Whoa, 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 whoa. She just got here. She just got here. She got here. Okay. I'm hot. I'm hot, Sasha. I'm hot. I'm hot. Uh oh. I'm hot. No, I got my own beer. I don't know where your lips have been. <laughs> wow. 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 We started early. Uh, so for all of you out there yes. and have been watching our podcast, and if you haven't, shame on you. But this is Sasha. I call her Sasha Fierce. But this is a very... Um, hey, welcome, Inspired Diosa. Yeah, hey, Inspired Diosa. Welcome, wow. welcome. Wow, wow. So um, this is Sasha, and Sasha is a very, very involved... Um, fan in the comment section and she's called on numerous occasions she had she had the funny story last week of um her her date the she's also story. she's also so. the president of the uh smp club <laughs> and founder and founder founder and president holy yes. Yes. shit yes so you can move in a little bit closer yeah, yeah 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 the mic is here don't get scared of the mic don't get scared because I, I, according to nelson you're not scared of the mic it's, it's okay. <laughs> I like big things. Oh, aye, 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 aye. Let's get her off the show. This is PG. Oh, sorry. This is PG. Oh, sorry. So this is Sasha. Um, yes. you know, introduce yourself. I'm Sasha. <laughs> wow, what a <laughs> what a fucking you introduction, Rob. That's how you introduce me. Uh, so uh, Sonia says this is a call in show now. Yeah, people call in, Sonia. <laughs> so, Sonia, you call in. I call in all the time. Oh, I, yeah, she sure yeah, does. We she know, we she know. calls, comments, and her fingers must hurt because all oh, the fucking typing that she does, bro. Yeah, absolutely, bit, absolutely. A little bit. So, so how are you? I'm yeah. fantastic. Sasha's from New York. She's visiting here. She's a Pisces, and her birthday As is when? Wednesday. Wednesday. So she's celebrating out here. So you happy know, birthday. Yes, happy birthday. I can't tell you. He's oh, my God. I can't tell you. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. She started early. Wow, they're, they're that good or that bad or good bad? It depends on what you think is good and what you think is bad. So give us a hand. Let's not play the angel stuff now. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not an angel. I will never say that. I love okay. your curls, by the way. Thank you. How do you get your curls like that? <laughs> My products. Oh, what are your products? Oh. 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 Wow. I didn't even see you that coming. I swear to God, I did not see this coming. Go ahead. I got to hear this. Wow. Well, I sell my name products, vegan products, hair, skin. You can speak wellness. up. Because I know you, 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 you have a loud mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, please, all right. I want to hear about right. these vegan products. Yeah, yeah, I've never right. heard yes, nothing yes. like this. No, no. It's okay. It's okay. Listen, you got an elbow for a reason. Give me. He well, likes basketball. No, I no, I like it. her legs are right there. She can't kick me, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely good. I'm safe right now. I'm in a safe place. Okay. Short moment. So you got you said you got vegan products. Vegan products. What is what, what kind of vegan products you have? Hair, skin, and wellness products. Why vegan? Uh, is it, does it? Vegan is healthier. Okay. This is it a name brand? And, yeah, Monet. 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 Okay. Spell so it. you're an ambassador? O-N-A-T. No. A-T. Okay. Oh, okay. So you no sell No accent it. on it or no. just Monet? Monet. 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 What is it, French? Monet. Modern nature. Oh. She hit you with that. That's mm. that though. And that's, that's how you get your curls? That's what helped my curls. Wow. That's super dope. Yeah, yeah because. And it looks like healthy and, and shiny and rich. Oh. I need that for mine. Chacho. Right, muchacho, look at that. Muchacho. Now, you get you some do, you, do you have like um scalp enrichment? Yeah. I need that. Seriously. You, you need, need a lot of things. things. Shut up. <laughs> you need a lot of things. So you need what do I, I I am Jesus. You want me to put my head down? Look, everybody to saying, <laughs> to Sorry. Everybody's saying happy birthday to you, by the way. Thank you guys. Everybody on IG. Yes. Thank you. 
So, so what do you th- what are your thoughts on the topic? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, I'm wait. sorry. Can we not get on the topic yet? Oh, you still want to know about the products? No. Oh. Uh, hello. She okay. took a flight over here. Okay. Go ahead. How was your flight? My flight was good. Hi, Alex. You, didn't sit you next never to no leave. Weirdos or... No, not this trip. Nobody. Like, you still have to wear a mask? Yeah. Really? Okay. They were supposed to do without that, no, hopefully. No, 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 no. Nelson is the weirdest guy you sat next to, huh, this whole time? He's pretty strange. Wow. Yes. So Sasha and me used to work for Monroe College, and um, I, well, I was a coach, and then she handled pretty much the whole sports department. In oh, I didn't to, know that. Yeah, so she handled all. She pretty was the right hand man for the uh, for the AD for the school. So you so, kept them in line, pretty much. She right. kept everybody. I kept oh, <laughs> yeah, she she Damn. would hold the really, hostage. Bro. You really want a friend to be an enemy? Hold his <laughs> check. Hold his check. Wow. Yeah, so that's, that's how cool. that's how her and I met, and you know, we, we were, she was cool, and you know, she didn't like me too much. Oh, he loves me. <laughs> wow, and she well, said that well, like, well, I love her because I obviously covered my story last week. You know, I saved her life, so I love you. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, the feeling is mutual because he saved your life, but that's nice. Well, but well, I needed I needed an out. You, but you had a couple outs. So speaking about that, no, has <laughs> no. Now, has he reached no. out? Mm-mm. Yeah, has, that's off. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, you 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 for, you forgive it and you moved on with that. La, 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 gotcha. La, la, la. Okay, got it. Got All it, right. Got so it. here's a question: What other products do you have besides for hair? Do you have any um like facial products yet? Mm-hmm. Skin no care, way. Skin care, body care, and wellness. Skin care, body. No. What about? Hold on. First of all, how? I don't know. You follow me on social media. That's weird. Okay, it's the algorithm. I'm blaming the algorithm because I I have I haven't seen anything. Lies. Wow. Oh, then speak about your. She, she also does the woman empowerment um, I thing. Do my so woman yeah, ex- empowerment Wednesday. Explain that. Well, um, I feel society kind of um, wants women to come against each other, kind of. They want to create division within... Somewhat, I feel. So Women Empowerment Wednesdays is basically um, women getting to know women, speaking on stories, history. Can, I, rec- can I recommend a topic for that show? As long as it doesn't involve this. Okay. Wow. Because... Look, his- Alex, look, look. Alex says she loved that story. She wants more. No. no, no. <laughs> Alex, you might have to call in no, while we talk to her. We're, we're, we're moving on. We're finding other dates. We're not. Oh, man. No. So, so it, and this goes back to, I guess, our last episode. Was it our last episode or the one before? Where we were talking about women empowerment and things like that. Yeah, it was the, the it's funny episode 12. I was, I was watching this guy. He's on, I don't even know the name of this podcast, but shout out to him. But he had. <laughs> You're shouting out somebody in the no podcast and no name. But he, listen, it's only because, you know, they give those little snippets on, on social media, mm-hmm. right? So on this snippet, he had, like, these seven girls. And these seven girls, these, well, not girls, women, they were extremely beautiful. And Sounds like they were very No, they were very powerful. And here's the thing. They were very encouraging about women empowerment, mm-hmm. right? But they weren't about a man empowering himself. So... I think the stigma is let's be all about women empowerment, but wonder why men, the men that they pick, are trash. There has to be a balance. There has to be a balance, absolutely. Yeah, that was a couple, I, I believe a couple episodes we spoke about that. Yeah. Right? They ha- yeah. Because, you know, sometimes... Well, the, the dating thing was about the whole balance. About, I'm not talking about, like, I think, I think this whole episode with that guy, it was more about women understanding men as much as they want men to understand women as far as empowerment. Like, you can give a woman, uh, like, all the empowerment you want, but it has to be reciprocated for you to be a power couple. Yes. I you know what I'm saying? Absolutely agree, but the topics are more um, my last one. I've For a million re- reasons, I haven't had a woman empowerment um, it's been a minute. It's been a while. Okay. I had a lot of stuff going on. Did you? Besides the date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't even know that was coming. <laughs> because he's bound to bring it back up. Why? No, Why? no, Why? I left it alone. This, let's leave this that, date alone. She obviously, she obviously Thank does you. not want to deal with this dude. She does want to deal with somebody. I'm not going to say no names or point any elbows. <laughs> but... 
date. There has to be Ooh. a date somewhere, somehow, some, some, somewhere soon. Oh my goodness! And, Anyhow, my and how was your? Did you have another date after that? No, I, I refused to date. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you're, you're traumatized right now, bro. <laughs> she, she got PTSD. I refused to date. I refused She's not to trying. She's not trying to hear it anymore. But my last. Um, how long ago? Has, how long? Has been it's a been a minute. Okay. It's been a minute. I've had some medical things that I've kind of. There's been some things going on, so I kind of have to take a pause. Um, the last was um, abuse. So it was domestic violence and that kind of stuff. That was a really hard. And you covered this on your show? Mm-hmm. That's super. I got to check these shows. Do you have it like where I can? All right, when are you going to start again? Um, I plan to start again. Not this week because your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. Next so, week. Next week. Yes. Oh, I'm trying, yeah, to, but... I'm trying to plug in here. Stand by. Okay, my bad. Do you have this like on YouTube? Do you need, no, I just do you need the S and P to help this out? Oh, oh wow. I'm saying like, oh, I, this is what I do. This is what I do. Cause <laughs> let me tell you something. These are, this first of all, you're talking about women empowerment. I'm all about women empowerment. So if I can help spread the message as and simple as helping this out. Me a date. How about you find me a date? Let's do a fine mm. Sasha date show. First of all, first of Guys, all, uh, you can't just vet the dude. I, I got to vet the, the, the woman, too. Right? I got to see wow. I, what I got from. I thought I, what, thought I was the president of that's the me, club. That's between y'all Listen, two right now. You know, I'm wow. staying quiet right now. You, it's not about you being president or the, co- or the founder of it. It's Muchacho. about knowing what you like. I'm so sad. I thought now. I thought you liked something specific, but apparently you just want to kick that teeth in. I I can't. That's so. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Nervous. I'm not part of the equation. She just wants to create bodily harm on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the Fabiola well, says big face, and I have a complicated cousin relationship. This see? is a fact. And you know what's funny is I consider her more of a cousin than my cousins. Mm-hmm. This is what I'm saying. All right, are we going back to the topic? Yeah. All right, so let's go, Sasha. All right, what? have you ever had a friend? That became family, mm-hmm. then from that became a friend of me. Yes. You want to elaborate with no content? I mean, you want to? Um, I had a best friend. Okay. Best who, friend? Yes, she was my best friend. For, how many years? Uh, uh, 10, 12 years. Why does it matter how many years? She considered her my best it, friend. No, but I'm saying, I mean, it does, cause we, it does because you can say, oh, my best friend. You know how people say, my fam, my best friend, and how long you know each other? A year. That doesn't qual. I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't qualify. I don't know. But maybe, maybe. everybody's different. You know, everybody's different in I shit. I wanted him to say that. So, it, yeah. you know. But it, it could, well, maybe 10 years. It could All right, so you had that. you had some years. You had some, you, had you some guys years. had some miles. Yes, and she betrayed me. How so? You always want to put no, no. I don't want details. Up. I said, what? What was the? What was the? She, she lied. Okay. So this uh, lie was, was very, very severe. Very severe lie. Okay. And then what happened? I completely cut her off and moved on my life. She okay. no longer exists. All right. To you. But to did me. you? Did you okay. forgive her? You gotta say no. that clearly because you, you, you haven't to this day. And I will not. Okay. That because bad. What she did, okay. I would never have done to her. Okay. That's. Your best friends, there's a code. And how did you feel when it happened? Mm-hmm. Completely betrayed. So now, how has that affected you in um, regards to other friendships? Yes, I was very withdrawn and very cautious. Okay, it took a lot more for me to trust people. Because I know you, you say, "Oh, I'm coming down here with my bestie and my bestie and this and this and that." Like you're staying with your bestie, so. She's now your bestie, bestie, or you have a few besties. She, she, and I actually went to high school together. I've known her since freshman year, mm. so that's almost thirty years. Um, forty. Wow. You said forty years. Wow. Okay. Almost Sorry. We gonna <laughs> talk. We gonna tell y'all aging here. By the way, I just want to say I'm the youngest person in the room. Wow. You're always the youngest person in the wow. fucking room, bro. You that's were a you. Lot of disrespect. No, it's not. You're still I'm... beautiful. You just. I'm Listen, I'm gonna be 44. Wow. I'm very proud of her. Yo, what? Hey. I can't give a woman no type of compliment. <laughs> it just gotta be the compliment they want. <laughs> yes, it is. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. It absolutely is. You right? You right? Absolutely. Thank you, Michelle, for joining us and beyond blessed. Sony says just because you've known someone for a long time doesn't make them a better absolutely. friend than someone. Yes, absolutely. So I only ask that because I I I want to know like context like. In general, okay, wow, 15 years, okay, all right. So there's some substance to that yeah, friendship, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? Thing. Yeah, it's a long time. So it's it's not like a fly-by-night no, no, type no, of friendship no. and we, shit that most we people went do that. a lot of stuff together. How long ago was it since you last spoke to that person? A long time? Probably 
how my daughter's 19. And it was before my daughter. Oh, oh wow. Wow. All right, so here's a question for you. Did you forgive Over the person? No. no, she said no. 20 years. Mm -hmm. you still she said she never, she never will. I, yeah, I never will. Never will. So if she would show up exist. one day, so you're fine with exist. it. You're okay. fine with it. You don't. You don't lose sleep. No. You don't. She doesn't exist. Woody, yeah, you are the oldest dude here. Absolutely. Woody's like 85, still DJing. So is his goddaughter. <laughs> how the hell are you? How the hell are you the godfather of a of a person that's the same age? That's no. Uh, Woody. Oh, she. Me is 75. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, I don't I even want to be in the room when she hears this. <laughs> she hears it all she's the time. Why? She's listening now. So I told good. her to her face. She's old. So, you don't know the story with us? I don't want to hear it. No, no. I, of course I watch it. She oh, watches it. Hello. hello. She's, on the, hello. she's, hello. Hello. she's your I, number one fan, hello. so she knows. Resident. SMP. That's right. I just wanted to check. This is how I do my resumes. Has that been the only has has been that has that been the only person? Has that been the only person? No. No. There's been others. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mean, you a, you don't have a hateful heart then. You just I'm people got to really okay, like does it, take a lot? does it take a lot for a person to Um it depends on what they do kind of. Nelson, does it take a lot for you? Oh, I, I, um yeah. I mean, yeah, it does take a lot for me to cut you off from my life. Like if I cut you off from my life it's because you did something that I fucking I right. can't deal with. So there's a question for everybody out there. How much does it take, like, does it have to be a certain kind of hurt, or does it have to be just a hurt? Everybody, see, the thing everybody is, everybody's is different. different. So yeah, but what not, you tolerate might like, not be what I tolerate. Because you know me. I don't, I don't tolerate a fucking thing. Like, if, it's but, like what she said, right? If, if it's something that, that I wouldn't do to you, motherfucker, you gone. You know me. Mm -hmm. You're not here for a reason. I mean, for no reason. You're here for a reason. Yep. You know me. In her case, it was since high school y'all been friends. Like, consistently. No, it was from junior high school. From <laughs> so have you, have you ever been in a situation where someone did you wrong, mm -hmm. but you've forgiven them and still friends? It's never the same relationship. If I have, I can't recall a situation, but it would never be the same But it, 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 it has transpired in your life where someone... Not that I can think of like... So I'm, a, I'm a very dismissive person. If I feel as though, well, yes, I can think of situations. Mm -hmm. But if I feel that you've wronged me, you've done something that I cannot, again, trust you, I'm dismissive. Yeah. To me, you will no longer exist. That and makes I sense. will be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I am, wrong. too. But you know what? I don't, I don't, I don't take shit. Like, it's, it's like. Inspired you, Diosa says you have forgiveness in your heart. Aww. Inspired Diosa, stop it. <laughs> the only person I've ever forgave for anything is you. Aww. That's it. I don't have that shit for anybody else. So stop it. And she knows that. I don't. I no, don't. I don't. Absolutely. I really don't. And she knows the story. So if that person came back into our life, in our lives, would you forgive him? Because I won't. And you know the Sasha don't know the story. No, Let's Sasha tell Sasha the story, the story behind the scenes. Ooh, behind the scenes. There's stuff behind the scenes, yeah. guys. So, so. See, but I think, I think in, you got to understand, in that situation, briefly, in that situation, that relationship, something had gone wrong. Mm -hmm. And then it was forgiven. It was forgiven, and that relationship was rebuilt from the bottom up. And then this person... Is that is, possible, though? Well, that's it's absolutely possible. We know that for a fact. But then How that's... How do we know that for a fact? That same person... <laughs> You're going to skip that question, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give context. Hello. Go so ahead. basically, you know, then that person later on does something fucking cataclysmic. Cataclysm. You like that word, right? I'm using life that in the verse. Hell no. I don't know if I can spell that <laughs> shit. But life altering to the point where, like, shit, we rebuilt this and everything that we rebuilt after what was what happened and that, and that was life altering. 
why would you do that after all that work all those years like and i can understand i'm like yeah i can't i can't fathom being able to have a relationship trust have that loyalty with that person because i gave you a chance it got, it, it, you know, and it got repaired, and I thought we were in a good place, and all of a sudden, fucking monkey wrench gets thrown into the shit, and it's even worse off than the than the initial situation. So, there's a lot of issues there, right there. That, you know? that happened recently. Yeah, there's a lot of issues there. That so actually happened recently. It's, it's. I don't know. I almost feel like you need to say it. You put my business out there. No, I can't put this business because it's not mine. Oh, it's not your business. Uh, it's not my so business. You put my business though. Because, because, because you, I, 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 hello, we'll I asked, I asked you. We'll talk to, we'll I talk about it later. asked you. No, no, I no, 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 asked no, 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 no. you. Love is quarrel. I asked you. Just like oh, also <laughs> I, 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 I also in our one of our first podcast she wrote something and i asked her permission because i love what she, what she did and uh, so i oh, always ask her permission. that's right that was it was her oh, poem was it yeah that was hers talent. she has talent. talent there's a lot of talent going around, around you have there. a book coming uh, here in the works right yeah, oh and she's, she's a photographer too yes she's multi talent i think no we need way. to move down here we need an intern well. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of camera do you use on uh nikon um d500 all right, when we finish here, I want you to play with my baby over there and see what you... It's the same one? No. Oh, okay. Fuji uh, Film X-T4. Oh, okay. I know nothing about Fuji. Oh, you're going to learn today. Oh, Yeah, we got to learn, as you see. <laughs> you're going to learn today. Sasha, see, Sasha's gotten That's to see the whole... That's right there. You're Sasha's gotten to today. see... I'm gonna Sasha, you, I'm gonna Sasha's gotten on to see the green room and all the behind-the-scenes stuff and all and these the other wine. things. And the wine. And the wine. And the squirter. Think of the squirter. The wine squirter. The squirter. Thank you, T, for uh, for That's giving us like the it. the word cataclysmic. Okay, uh, yeah, I would not. What, I would not. T, have and me, what? I know. I didn't. There's Wait, no reason looks, for me to forgive you. Inspired you never Diosa, hurt me, so. Inspired Diosa wants to call in because she's driving. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> yes, no. Have a call in. Have a call in. Have a call in. We All have right. a, we have inspired Diosa 2020 I'm putting, that I'm wants to call my in. Put phone just for that. I okay, guess. so. We we have we have a, a, a I guess a special request. I guess this is a good segue for uh, you know whatever. But, it is. I did, I, but back to your question. You better stop I, playing. You better call in. But go ahead. But back to your question. I have forgiven someone. Okay. And but the relationship was never what it was originally. Um, no, because it, it did. You have it reserved did. feelings though after that. Um, you have doubts. I wouldn't say reserved feelings. You have that. So how is the relationship now? <laughs> We're divorcing. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I was like, I'm thinking uh, of friends. Uh, okay. No. That's, that's a whole other story altogether. That's a lot of stories. Yeah. That's so because you're divorcing, does that person become a friend of me now? We don't speak. So it's a friend of me. Not a friend of nothing. Oh shit! He's, He's straight just... out just an enemy. He's just an enemy. Gotcha. We have no. Do you, good but do you, you don't wish him any ill will or anything like that, right? He's still alive. <laughs> I don't. Wow. You know oh. more than I do. I don't know. I don't know either. It's oh, okay. Also, we're waiting for your call. I don't so, know either. Oh, okay. I got you. I hear you. All right. I, I, I hate to go off topic. I'm just so inspired by her products. So. <laughs> okay. Your facial products. They're vegan as well? Yes, everything is vegan. What? Y'all can talk behind the show and then y'all can, you know, she could uh, introduce you. I want to know about this, though. Introduce you. You didn't bring any with you? No, just my own. Well, you got to share. Well, they're not here. They're in, um. That's not nice. We're just friends. Tracy, <laughs> I know you like things like this. You got to get with Sasha. So you, you know what I mean? She likes those things, so. I mean, at me too. I, you didn't bring, you knew she was coming here. You didn't I'm want to bring sorry. me in then? Well, first of all, who's your CEO? I need to speak to the CEO. I don't like this. Wow. I'm my own CEO. Wow. Then we're going to have a conversation right. later about this. So that also leads to that everybody's different. Yeah. yeah. How does, I can't even pose this question because, um, because I wrote notes. Is there anything that. Oh, you did homework? I did homework. Is there anything. Well, I gotta ask you guys, and everybody out there you that stay focused? Um, out there <laughs> that um, what would be the bottom line when it comes where the point of no return? 
Uh, I'll let Sasha go first. I don't think you can answer that. Yeah, I know. That's it's, what I'm saying. No, like, you can. You can. No, 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 you can. Because I have, a, I have a guy. I have a. I have a specific thing. What's your specific thing? If if you hurt me for your gain, you're done. Okay. If, if for other people, it could be if you kill my family. Okay, if but what I'm saying me. is for if me, he's asking if you have a bottom line. Like though. a bottom my line. My bottom line is if you hurt me mm-hmm. for your gain. You're fucked up. I, this, but don't look at me like that. I'm the president. I'm not talking about <laughs> you. I'm trying to say. He giving you like I, you did this it. This is why I don't have friends. You see? No. <laughs> Grateful. This, thank you for joining, Julie. Three. No, thank don't you for thank joining. her. She was just on Facebook. What are you doing, a Menage Twelve? Yes. So what are you talking Sasha about? Does that. Only Sasha does that. <laughs> Alex um, does that too. But yeah, yeah. Alex. Yeah, Alex does that too. But if you hurt me or you hurt like my family for your gain. Just I'm, hurt, period. I, I'm not going to say what I do on, on, on live, but... Don't do it. For me, it's loyalty. That's a problem. But if that's, you, if that's you still betray, goes in that line. If you, that if, still goes in that if line. You, like, this is the thing. If you're in my inner circle and you betray my loyalty, I'm cutting you off. My, like, you could be a cualquiera. Like, you could be an acquaintance, a co-worker, um, any, you know, everyday type yeah, of person yeah. that you meet, and... You do something, I'm not even gonna think twice. I'm yeah. like because you're you're not significant in my yeah. life. My family's the bottom line. I don't care. You no, 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 I'm saying I'm family, talking about relationship with like you have. have it. Like um, that's what I'm saying. So like someone like someone a coworker that does something to me, I'm not gonna think twice about it because you are not significant in my life. But I'm saying wow. like I don't even need this wow. paycheck. You're not a coworker, you're not a coworker anymore. You're not a coworker so, anymore. Wait, no, no, wait, for five or six years I could have done bad shit to you? <laughs> We're gonna go back to it, guys. I'm sorry. First of all, first of all, both of y'all had your arms up, and I couldn't, I couldn't help well, but I'm, notice. I'm, I couldn't help but notice. She's gonna, you know, it's a lot going on no, on both no, of y'all no. wrists. My hands went up because I wanted to protect <laughs> myself. Okay, <laughs> that's all. I squared up. No, that's all I'm. Okay, a, but I'm saying, what's going on with y'all wrists? No, what's, I'm, I'm always like that. I don't know how she be He's, doing. I'm talking about what you have on your wrist. What a, a skull? And it's a lot. Oh, you yeah. have anything. Oh, that's your problem. That's a you problem. You guys have a lot. That's, that's all right. My, that's Mia also door. has a whole shit, too. That's you. That's my pen. But my hands went up because I just squared up to protect myself like I'm in an MMA I fight. I saw that. I saw yeah, that. You I saw like, that, right? She's not going to hit you here. No, she doesn't oh, want to hit me. Yeah. She doesn't want to hit me. She wants to kick me, bro. She, she wants to kick me. I First of all, time out. Time out. Of course you're going to enjoy it. Can I pause this for a second? Can I pause this for a second? Inspired Diosa wants... Oh, she the said number. She needs the number. Because she doesn't. I, oh. I, 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 Are you fucking kidding me? She, yeah. You call the number every day. No, she doesn't. You're the worst, too. No, that's wow. not my name, main number. Hello. That's it's a different It's my number. Oh, okay. I thought it was the the other. The, okay, fine. Wow. You, you Sasha, have, whose number is it? Muchacho. I, Sasha called almost every episode. I thought it was the 530. <laughs> Oh, so she, oh, okay. I thought you were putting the demon. Oh, no. that's right, 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 right. right. I, we haven't put that out yet. Right, got, right, right. We don't. You know what I'm saying? The oh, the link to the pro, uh, people are asking for the link for your products. Yes. Oh, it's. Oh, uh, well, well, go ahead. You could actually type them, type it in on Instagram and on Facebook. Put it in the yeah. comment section. Yeah, sure. so she's gonna put. She's gonna put them in the comment section on Instagram and on Facebook, and that way you guys can go and um, check out her products. Stand by, stand by. So, but uh, we're trying to trying to figure out something because someone really wants to call in very badly, and you know if we don't, don't oh kill us, kill us, but. Yeah, stand bro. By. I, I, ra- I raised stand by. I raised stand my by. hands just to protect myself. That was just You raised your hands because you scared. Hello? Hello. Who do we have with us? Who who's uh who's calling, please? <laughs> <laughs> Who is it's this? Your, it's, your, it's your worst best nightmare. Oh, right, our for those worst of you guys on IG, this is our worst, worst best nightmare. Our worst best nightmare is on the call. <laughs> Not nightmare. nightmare. Nightwear, I don't know. I'm thinking of something else. Uh, you thinking underwear? <laughs> I don't have any arm. Maybe that's why. I'm a muchacho. <laughs> so, so wh- why would you be calling in right now? Uh, our worst well, night- nightmare, worst best. Nightmare? Well, first of all, I want to thank I want to thank both of you um, 
for doing an amazing job during my absence. I really appreciate it with all oh, my heart. Oh, this is Mia. Um, oh, oh this is on the other half, yeah, the other half of Aces. Yeah, this I'm is sorry. the other half of Aces oh, Up. The other snap. half of Aces Up is oh, out of mode. I thought this was my side chick so calling this, in. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this, wow. This is Mia calling That's from an true. undisclosed location, so we don't know yet That's when she true. will be flying <laughs> in. So... <laughs> Um, no, but I, I, I wanted to just chime in a bit on tonight's topic because I know that um, the super mega producer brought up a specific individual. And I just wanted to say that, you know, yes, it's a show about transparency and, and our personal experiences, it is. But in this instance, you know, um, I'm not, I don't want to use our platform to give anyone any attention yeah, no, that they yeah, don't require. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. That's why I didn't give okay. details. Yeah, you're right. Um, at, the end, at the end of the day, you know... Um, Instagram users, yeah, actually, unfortunately, if you want to hear her, you have to jump onto Facebook is the only way that you can hear her. Sorry. In the meanwhile, you have to look on. at my pretty face. Go ahead, Mia. We moved on, you know, and, uh, and, and as you know, you know, the bone saw our house is solidified. We're as strong as motherfuckers, as strong as motherfuckers as we can be, and okay. no one can ever break what we have. So at the end of the day, we're going to give energy on the show to those who deserve it, um, not to those who do not deserve it. And um, because so, if slow we open down, up caller, our platform, slow down, I got I to gotta translate to the IG. So we're giving energy <laughs> to those who give us positive energy back. That's what we doing. Basically, she said... I'm doing it with my head because that's she, what it sounds like. She's, she's, ah, she's bobbing yes. her head. She's like, yeah, like this, attitude. This, this house got a foundation that can't yeah. be broken, go motherfucker. Ahead, go, go ahead, call her. Go ahead, call her. Right. Um, I, and, you know, Sasha, welcome to the show. It's great to have you. Thank you um, for having, uh, you know, showing up. Not only just showing up and being in the green room, but showing up and also, um, you know, putting the face out there to your comments and for chiming in anytime you call in. Thank you. You've been one of our number one supporters from day one. Um, Sasha's now she's the CEO of That's the SSS and what is it? Whoa, 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 slow down. Make sure you say this right. Make sure I'm trying. SMP. Wait. SMP. Make she's sure you the say CEO this right. and Sasha, of the C SMP. Jesus. Wow. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead call her. Sorry. Um, and the last thing I'm going to say is this, and I'm not going to stay on too long. I am driving, but the last thing I am going to say is that um, when you do have family and you, unfortunately, there's a breakdown in family, it is what it is. That person is still your family no matter what. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's okay if you have to separate yourself from that family member just to maintain your own um, stability and nice. your own mental health. And, um, you know, it, it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's hard. You know, it's hard because at the end of the day, they are your family member and you have love for them. But, um, you know, you can love from afar. And right. as for me, I, I, as for me, I, I forgive wholeheartedly, genuinely. And, um, I ask God, you know, to forgive me because I'm not saying I'm perfect. So forgive me for any harm that I've caused, hey, but also see, to forgive that person. Good point. Good point. And, and also to forgive that person, you know, for the harm they've done to others, right? Because we're not perfect. We're not perfect. None um, of us are perfect. Absolutely. We're we here to make, we, we are born she, imperfect she to make a, mistakes. She brought a great point up. She asked God and to he, forgive her because she's not perfect. And, and, and I, I, I don't, God knows I, that. me personally, I don't understand that because I, I'm, it's not that I don't understand that because I'm perfect. I just don't understand that because I'm still, if I got to go to the point where I got to forgive that person, I feel like I didn't, I, I didn't, I know, I understand actions, um, is reactions are, are based on actions. I get it. But sometimes if you get me to the point where Mia is right now, I feel like, my actions didn't do it. And she's woman enough to say, you know what? There's something in there that I did that I did wrong, and I need to forgive myself for it. And some people aren't strong enough for that. I'm not strong enough for that. And I got to salute Mia for that because she sat back and, and she said to herself, I asked God to forgive that person. I asked God to forgive me. And that's super dope. You got to be a strong fucking person 
to ask God to forgive you. So that's a perfect situation because that that situation showed who's riding and dying with you and who isn't. And if and if you if you noticed, you saw people's true colors come out in this whole thing. And in any situation, you'll see that true yeah, colors. Yeah. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So and you see when shit hits the fan, you will know who is there for you and who isn't there for you. Fact. You know, and that's one of the positive things that you got to take out of a situation like that because it's where, okay, shit, now I know, even after many years, shit, this is who you really are? Oh, fuck you and the road you host on. I forgive you, you. What? and the horse. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. This is, I noticed that on a lot of, a lot of shows. He don't I, pronounce I, words properly. I'm going to just like, shut the fuck up and stay in my lane. <laughs> That's what I'm going to fucking do. If it's about coaching or motivation, <laughs> I'll speak. But besides that, I'm going to shut the fuck up. This ain't even even my fucking show. I'm not an ace. I'm nothing. That's it. I'm He's done. In I'm in again, my now. feelings this is again. the week of the feelings for Nelson. But go ahead, Mia. Go ahead, Mia. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We had to correct <gasps> Nelson. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, no, you know, I mean, that's essentially what I have to say about, you know, the the topic at hand. Um, it's a very delicate one and it's one that I told Nelson today. Thank God I'm not on the show for that one because Mm -hmm. it's a trigger for me. It's a trigger for me. I'm not going to lie. That's Um, another reason why I actually, (laughs) I actually wanted to broach the subject because she wasn't here at, you know, at that moment. And it was, can I show, do y'all know how much it, how how much I got to hold back right now? Oh, I mean, it, we're, we, it's, it's, it's being yeah. discreet about it, you yeah, know. Let me tell you something. <laughs> being discreet. When you but, know, when you know a clown, it's no, because you've been to a you, circus a couple times. But, <laughs> and I'm trying not. I'm trying Bro, not like, to be really? fucking. Really? Like, wow. You need to go home. <laughs> Get back on that plane and fucking to New York, bro. Uh, wow. <laughs> I know where I'm going to podcast. Thank you. Don't do this to me, yeah. no Mia. Don't do this oh, to me no more. Shit. Please come back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't handle this. My heart can't handle this. Oh, God. No, you know, again, you know what I'm saying? When I, you got to remember, things at night when you give things that flame, right? When you give that thing that fire. And um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, I if something last night, Ben, you you put us on to the whole uh, Joe Budden and the Joel Ortiz and mm-hmm. and um, That's Royce nice, yeah. drama. And, oh, shit, and I, I listened to that. that. Yeah. Good point, me. I, I listened to I listened to that whole podcast, right? And Joel Ortiz chimed in, <clears throat> and he was kind of like feeling a type way because Royce and Joe Budden used their platform to to come at him. Uh, and, and to come at Crook. But at the end of the day, it's like I said, I mean, they did what they had to do, but, you know, when our platform is a whole different spectrum. Our platform is not about bashing people. Our platform is not about um, airing out our grievances. It's not about... It's, a, it's about empowering people. It's about motivating people, inspiring absolutely, people, absolutely. great energy. And, is, and, and I'm actually going to use, I'm actually going to use what I posted up today because I came back on Instagram today. Yes, Inspired um, Diosa's and, back on IG, baby. <laughs> um, I'm on, I'm back on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok. Um, a TikTok. And it's a TikTok. Me tiene I, I, put in, <laughs> I put in, I put in today, I put in what's called the Zen Cohen, which essentially is the teachings of a master to his pupil. And I, I got this off of a show that I watched, which I'm so in love with uh, the actor, um, Axel Rod. He's, he's uh, oh my God. He, oh, you're he's hooked on billions. Leader. If you're on billions. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. So, and it goes, it goes like this. Essentially, it says that, you know, the master, the master tells his student, the master tells his student, if you tell me this stick is real, I'm going to beat you with it. If you tell me the stick is not real, I'm going to beat, beat you with it. And, um, people with a stick. and there's an, and there's another phrase. There's another phrase to it. There's another phrase to it. It's on IG. I don't remember it right now, but there's another phrase to it. But in the end, <clears throat> what the pupil does is he takes the stick, the stick and he broke it. And that's exactly what I did in my situation. Um, I was in a bind. And I said, how can I get out of this? And I took that motherfucking stick and I broke it. Oh, and that shit is wow. never going to come back to threaten me ever again. Fuck it, man. So, um, yeah, so Inspired Diosa broke the so, stick. I just put on uh, Instagram her her handle. Um, It's the same handle on TikTok. And uh, if you want a little bit more context in regards to what she's referring to um, and you want to feel inspired, go to her page and... 
um, check her out, and you'll 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 get a, a better sense of who is she, who who she is and who is she be, who she is becoming. Yo, I can't enunciate today. What the hell? You, you can't enunciate almost yeah, actually, any yeah, every so week. I, 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 as always, yo, I am the destroyer of words. Yes. Mia, by the way, uh, Victor said everybody loves Mia, and it's hot, bro. And uh, Sam says to tell you hi. Everybody okay, loves Mia. It's like it's bartender, like every bartender. Cornia, keep it. Yo, don't be bartender. acting like Mia asking for a hundred and fucking things well, and then I gotta do a shit. What the fuck? Yo, yo. Off. Pause. Nothing. You think, you think that you <laughs> gotta nothing? Mm. Wow. Yeah, I'm you think listening. you can't enunciate well because you got Sasha next to you? No, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We just we just clarified that I can't enunciate every week. You got you nervous. It's the, it's, the, it's the vegan curls. That's what has me. The vegan curls. That's yeah. what has me. Mia, you see these curls, Mia? She got vegan. Yes, she products, got beautiful right? curls. And you see that? So we, yeah. you know, I, 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 she says she has a scalp enrichment. I need it because my shit be like. You, you need some enrichment. Shut in your life. up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sign off, guys. Drive I'm so safe. Um, Yo, you like so the best you caller. You, you signed off on 12 minutes. Thank you. To say that I'm not I didn't say water. nothing. I'm just saying. We'll talk after the show. Wow. Enjoy wow. the rest of the show. All right. And uh, just let just let our audience know I'll be back soon. And when I'll be back, I it's going to be with a, with a be, fucking vengeance. It's going to be, be great. Uh, it's going to be great. Um, so I love and I miss everybody. And I thank everybody for um, their love and support and their understanding during this time. Um, I don't know, understand because I'm missing my sock cam. I'm just yeah. letting you know again. Yeah. I yes. just, just want to know, do I look cute on camera? What? Do I look cute on the camera? Big, a, a super mega producer wants to know if he looks cute on camera. No. I mean, listen, on that island that you're on, do they have good Wi-Fi? Wow. You know, I don't understand. Wow. <laughs> you see the love I get around here? Even pixelated, I look cute. What are you talking about? Wow. Wow. I mean, All right, talk to you soon. Wait, wait. Let me, can I respond to that? Woo. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Baby, baby, you look sexy all the motherfucking Woo. time. Uh, you're, you're my ed, you're my edible arrangement every whoa, 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 whoa. Aye, aye, aye. Let's call off. Let's call off. Super early. mega, Let's super call mega, off early now. super Thank mega producers and edible arrangement. Now I can Thank never you. see that fucking store ever Don't again. Don't call one of the other flowers. You're not gonna get a big face edible arrangement. Yeah, now I can't see strawberries with chocolate and pineapple, and I gotta think of him now. Oh, shit. Well, I you know. want me to think of you when I'm in the office? I well. never said that, bro. I don't Jesus think I Christ. wanna be around this, this, this testosterone. Oh, all right. Go. Thank you, caller. All right, thank all right, you, caller. Guys, be you. safe. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Bye. And that so that was, was inspired the also calling in from an undisclosed location, oh, you know. You look good on camera. No shit. Yeah. We're, we're ready to come off. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Yeah, done, you don't know that when people come here, they stay on for the whole show. They like it. No, I've seen shows. <laughs> All the shows, and that is not the case. No. Thank you very much for watching wow. all the shows. Did you put the Did you put the link on on there? Because a lot mm -hmm. of people, uh, I see about four or five people already yeah. asking. It, yeah. Did it go up on IG? Yeah, I saw you put so. it on Facebook, but I don't know. Oh. But she's gonna put the link on on IG again, so you guys can have it. But apparently, it's epic fail, a freaking bro. great product. What the hell? You want so, curls like that? Oh shit! Him. You need you need more. you need a lot of shit, Papa. Mia said I'm good. Uh -huh. I'm good. I, I don't need curls. Gotcha. You need curls. I don't need curls. I got natural curls. You you see his hair? What? He's, it's he's dry Jesus. as crap. It is Jesus. not oh, dry. Jesus. So he needs Jesus. <laughs> I am Jesus. You want me? To, you want me to let my hair down? Yeah. And show you what Jesus this looks show like? This show is no. so sideways. No. Oh my God. Bro, I have such a comment right now. He's just not gonna <laughs> say it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. So we're keep it PG. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So okay. Mean to me. So we're having fun, everybody. We spoke about the topic. Um. We got everybody's point of view, or the viewers and everybody, but I do have another aspect to the topic. Go ahead. Okay. Shoot away. You got a friend. They became family. Mm hmm Now they offended me, and I know we spoke about this, and they want to correct it. 
Does time matter? Or would you let them correct it and still make them a friend at least? I think time is a factor. I said that. He didn't say a factor. Time matters. Yeah. Time is a factor. Would you let that person in? Depends on what they did. Yeah, it depends on what they did. In your case, what you said. With your she best friend. Said. She could never. No. Even after 20 years? Yes. So if she shows up at your doorstep, I don't you're even slamming know what the this door on her face. Did. After I kick her. After you kick her? <laughs> but yeah, no, she, she could never. Never. Ever. Is there a okay. situation where you would allow that? There's situations where I have allowed it. Okay, okay. okay. But so the relationship has never been the so same. It's not well, like... Has like, it been better? Have you ever encountered, yeah, like, a better with relationship? With a friend? Yes. Um, like, there was, there was a dispute and... Even if it's family. Does it matter if yeah, it's friend, family? friends or family? Um, I haven't had another friend do that because I'm very cautious now. Mm. Is it easier to forgive friends, um, family, than friends? Mm. Ah. No. No? It depends on... So it doesn't matter if they're friends... So it doesn't matter if it's a friend or family member. Also, if you screw me over, you're screwed, Nelson. Period. Yeah, because yeah. you already considered that friend family. It's no, but I want, what I'm saying, like... In her case, that was family. She was like, family. well, you said, like, you said, Sid, Sid is family. Like, I mean, I don't care about the whole blood thing. You guys grew up together and stuff. Yeah, your family, that's your brothers. Like, and you said, it doesn't matter. He, he, he can do no wrong in your eyes. And he won't do no wrong in my eyes. No, it doesn't matter. You it, can, you can I, never that's say... That's my bias. That's my bias. I understand. That, exactly. And that's what I was saying. And nobody's going to nobody's gonna veer right. me away from that. This is hard, guys. No, but you don't... It's easier is, when is I'm there, home. Is, there, is just, there anybody in your family that cannot do wrong to you? Like... It doesn't matter what it is. No, it's is there some? No, wrong. is there someone that can do wrong to you, uh -huh. and you are able to forgive them? That's easy, it's Nelson. Probably no, not it's so not easy. That's no. actually the hardest thing to nah. do. It, it's, it, it's, can I answer the question? Go ahead, answer the question. It's yeah, probably yeah. my children. That's unconditional love. They see it you is, see, but I that's what I'm saying. Okay, it's not time. It can heal. I right? Can, yeah, that's my kids. Your kids. Okay. But other than your kids, we're talking about like probably a person. No, right? Probably not. Is it? Do you think it's because of you, though? Do you think it's because you you have a, a PTSD from a, pre, a past issue? Well, she's very cautious. That's, well, that's yeah. definitely... Well, one she's cautious that. because of her past. Right. Well, well, we all are. We all kind of like take... Kind yeah, we, of, take yeah. Our, we take our past and we learn from them, but then we also are vigilant in our future endeavors. So we take that into, into a factor. We just can't let it rule the way we live that's that's the biggest um i guess obstacle as a human being not allowing our past to affect our present and future right so that's the biggest thing i think it's complicated when it comes to family we're supposed to be close right we're supposed to spend the rest of your lives right growing old and dying together that's what you expect right um and you're kind of hispanics are raised that way or just culturally, culture not kind of. You are Hispanic. Yeah, well, you, yeah. you just. But Hispanics, cousins, Hispanics are fucking. They hold more fucking grudges than there is. Yeah, but your cousins are more your siblings than your siblings are. Right. Like Absolutely. This is a that, fact. This you're is You're raised fact. in that, this you know, that fact. family kind of dynamic where you're expected to always keep relationships. So right? Alex says it depends on how bad they fucked up. So it, 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 it there's like a meter, a bar barometer. I'm like. How bad did you fuck up? You know, inferno or is it yeah, just like I mild? I think it's to the person. Because yeah, the that's meter, what I'm saying. Every meter, everybody, so wide with, with everybody's every meter is different. Yeah, everybody's yeah, yeah. meter is different. Because my meter is not. Is it, you, listen. So let's let's talk about that. Kids, your 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 offspring. Like I, I know in my family, they're they're they answered that already. No, no, it's no, no, unconditional. That's, no that's, matter what you do. No, I understand me. that, but it's nothing that Nina's gonna do to me that's gonna make me hate her. I'm gonna, you know why? Because I'm gonna have that extra thought. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna have that extra love. I'm gonna have that. She's mine. The understanding. That that's passion, a, exactly. That's you. But I, ha I have family members that mother. Oh, we're talking about kids. Listen to me, okay. mother and son. Okay. That don't speak. That don't speak. Mm -hmm. Don't speak. I, I have a cousin who did something grimy. In that case. Something grimy, and nah, they, they don't nah. speak. You're not going to tell me 
that a mother who gave birth to a child. I know situations like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know plenty okay, of situations like that. Listen to my point. If you gave birth to a child and you unconditionally love, did I say that right? Unconditional like love. This one. Right. I, I, you know, I, I, this I, one got a I name. Love, I love, no this, this one got a name. <laughs> if, a, if a mother unconditionally loves a child, it doesn't matter what that child does because they're going to go that extra mile to understand the situation. Mm. Now, when not, see, not maybe, maybe, when, maybe when the kids are younger and inexperienced, in, in my case, I have. You have an expectation. No, no, no. I have two cousins. You just said it. No, no. I have two cousins. Without even explaining the story, you just said it, Nelson. No, it's not. You a- said it because they're a child. So because they're older, you have an expectation. Am I wrong? Well, you have no, an expectation yes, that you know right from wrong. Yeah, but that doesn't. Okay, I get it. This is so much harder. <laughs> than it is when I'm just home in Ex- my bed. Okay, it's hard. Explain to it though. Explain. You have my children. Go ahead. My love for my children is without conditions. My children can kill somebody. My children. It doesn't matter what my children. You bury do. the body with them. I'm burying the body. Yeah, but what, what if there they do go. something to you, to betray what? your trust? Well, there's nothing that they don't know. That would betray. That would cause them to. Well, in your instance, yeah, there's my situation, might be, yeah. but there are other situations in which it's complicated. Okay, I'm going to give you a scenario just off the top of my head. And, Please you know, don't let it be about this date. <laughs> no, it's not about the date. It's not about a date. Oh, my God. Okay, and uh, we've seen this in movies and all this, right? Um, you're married. And, no, 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 no. You're happily married. Let's do that. Not. I'm not saying that. I know, I'm just messing Okay, you listen. Continue. Um, you're married, yes. <laughs> and your daughter sleeps with your husband. Why would my daughter sleep with her father? I'm not si- no. Say didn't clarify it. Okay, so okay, you remarry. Let's go for it. We you, you remarry. I wouldn't do that, but yes. You're and <laughs> you watch too much porn, hub, I swear. And your husband, and your and, and your future husband. Yeah. They sleep together. Uh huh. Is that forgivable? That wouldn't happen. And that that's not my question. Ask I don't, me why. Ask you why? Why? Because my daughter's gay. So you, have to <laughs> have to you know what? But no, but that's a, that's a, that's a, scen- that's a scenario. Like, and that's a really, really drastic scenario. But that o- that is only because you just crafted this magic. Yeah, and yeah like, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you like, what's the threshold? a drastic scenario, which is going to cause a drastic uh, uh, result. But that's what I'm saying. How is remember you when you say the word when when you say the word yeah but when you say the word when you put the word unconditional unconditional meaning there is no barrier that can be broken that I will not be like you know what is good. He's so technical. Yeah, yeah. This is why I have to call yeah, in. Yeah, now yeah, you understand? Yeah, you want to call in? Let me call. So I I would have to say, although you're. Our scenario is kind of drastic. It is, but I'm putting you uh, in saying, that in in that in in that um form. With time, I would still forgive my child. Okay, with time, with time, that we, have would... to, we have to deal with it. We okay. have to talk about it. It has right. to be a thing. All right. With that's my child. Okay. The blame would go more on the man. Facts. I agree with that. It's just like a cheating. Wife. They both do have, you blame they, the man they, or do you blame the I'm wife? I'm not saying that blame she doesn't no. have blame. There's no such thing as who has more blame than the yes, other. It is. They both should have known better. Nah, fuck that. Anyway, we that, all think differently. That's a, that's another topic. No, we, okay. <laughs> that's <laughs> another yeah, topic that's altogether. Your that's your scenario. Right, that's my right. scenario. Okay. That's How about my scenario. this? But see, Sony brought something up. Okay, what did Sony say? LGBTQ kids go through it a lot. Their parents hate or stop talking to them. Because of who they are. Absolutely. And I think that is wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. If you are gay and your kid doesn't like the fact that you're gay, it's your fault. Well, my daughter, um, when she came out to me, she was very emotional. She was very afraid How to come out. How old was your daughter? Um, at the time, 14, maybe 15. Okay. And she was terrified. Um, and what I let her come out and I looked at her and I said, why are you crying? She said, because I was afraid to tell you. Mask that Mad Hatter. Thank you for joining us. And my comment to her was, I don't care if you marry rocks. I'm going to have grand pebbles. Facts. It does not matter to me. However, she had tons of friends in school who 
I became their surrogate mom because they did not have a relationship with her. Facts. Because that's they what were happens. Mm -hmm. But what if you were gay? Mm -hmm. What would your son think about you? Now, he wouldn't think at anything. Any point, at, at any point. Well, it do, it matters because they were raised Catholic in the Catholic Church. They okay. were ultra servers, like completely. Okay. And at that time, how did that happen? Religion you being their mother. Point. Religion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> listen. Does it burn when you go into church? No, but listen. <laughs> it, it wouldn't, wow. I'm going to take a sip for that. <laughs> I Based do. off of that <laughs> IV. <laughs> IV. <laughs> What's the IV hand button? Uh, the IV hand button is up there. IV hand. Oh, my goodness. Well, the reason why I say that is because my son was very, very, very Catholic. So when my daughter came out, to me, she was afraid to come out to him because mm. he was... Of the, 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 the beliefs that the right. Catholic Church has. Right. Look, Pornhub, just for you. Yeah. Alex, but, Alex, what you know about Pornhub, Alex? Well, here's, the, here's, the, here's what Sony's talking about. Sony's talking about um, when the parent, when the, when the child gets mad at the parent, right? I To me, I think the problem is where the parent didn't expose themselves from the beginning. They weren't transparent. They, right. That's not exposed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Transparent. When they weren't transparent. When you're not tra in any situation. Lori, you need to keep your comments to yourself, okay? This this is not about beat up Nelson today, okay? I don't need gloves, honey. Yeah, it she doesn't like need Sasha gloves. Got, sound like Sasha got a partner right now. Holy They're shit. Gonna They're going to jump you. They're going to jump you. I'm not feeling the love. I got to get my Vaseline on and put it on my face and take off my earrings. <laughs> and holy shit. Wow, I'm just mad feels... that he got earrings. <laughs> so, I... <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just think the transparency has to happen early. It doesn't matter if you LGBTQ. It doesn't matter if you're uh, uh, what's the other word? Welcome uh, to Ink the Educator. Heterosexual. It doesn't matter. It just it, the transparency has to happen early, and that's in any relationship. Yes. Right? Am yes. I wrong? Yes. So and that well, doesn't matter. No. Yeah. I, because I if you remember, was it last week or week before? Cannot be transparent about everything immediately. Yeah, that was last week. Yes. Well, we're talking about yeah. See, no, no, no. I do watch. You're right. You're right. But we're talking about in this specific. Um, these situation. are these are important um, yeah. facts that you need. Yeah, to but know. when you're dealing with, with a parent gay parent the child or the and child? the child doesn't know, when you're okay. dealing, like you're a gay parent and and your child doesn't know, you have to be transparent from the beginning. Like you. So what you're saying is that the. The child is 14 years old, and the whole time, the child doesn't know that you have a significant other that's the same sex? What the fuck are you that, doing? Like, you're not, literally putting them in the closet when they come by? That's not necessarily no. what happens. What do you mean? No. There's people that just don't explore their sexuality right away. So okay, they but get that's, married, they that's, have children, it, and then they're... But that falls into God. transparency from when, that, when the child finds out. It still falls in the transparency. You gotta let that child know, like, listen, I didn't know I felt like this until this point. So there has to still be transparency. That child has to. Am but I wrong? Only when you discover it. I found out about Nelson just now. And so did I. I've been <laughs> I, 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 I've been out the closet for many years, Papa. You know that. Uh, it doesn't change how I feel about him. Yeah, it just, I see. you know, I mean, but you know, for kids, he just changes the but, colors of my underwear that we he also, buys me for Christmas. Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but for kids, we also have to understand that kids. Now Larry Jane, thank you for joining us. Uh, have a different mindset, and they're not so uh, biased as adults. Kids have a more open mind, so we should be able to be more transparent with them. So you, what you're trying to say, as younger kids. So that way they don't become toxic when they grow up and become adults in that sense. Or Kids feel, never become toxic like if the, to. unless the parent is toxic. Well, yeah. I'm I, sorry. Yeah, it, I mean, either That's that or, or how or where they, who they, who are they around. You know what I'm saying? That, why, they make they yeah. con quien ande, te digo quien tu eres type That's of thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's... But, That's all it is. But in this case... Like so your, kid, said, your, kid, your kids are just your kids no matter what. Your kids are just your kids, though, no matter what my they do. My kids are my kids. But something in that, in, that, in that instance, 
at the moment like you would not be able. You needed to process all of that, process, and yes. then take time. But so why wouldn't you do that with a friend? Almost anything because friends are not my blood. But they no, didn't come so up they don't body. deserve your process if no. they if. First of all, that's why I said talking I, about a friend that's been consistent through years. So they don't deserve the process of you thinking, okay, maybe. See, but I they're can't not a they're depends. not a friend anymore. Uh, hold on, first of all, I didn't pose the question to you. But wait, it depends Dollar. on. Why are you doing that? Why are you cutting Sasha off? He's nervous. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and both it need depends. to leave now. <laughs> it, it depends on the severity of the situation. Okay. That That's what it boils down to. Oh, and my God. My, Alex, Michael Myers was crazy as a child. He actually wasn't crazy as a child. He just bounced around. He was He was not. He didn't have a home, this a stable like home. Yeah. <laughs> so, Nelson, <laughs> so you're telling me now that a friend that's been consistent throughout the years doesn't deserve for you to have a conscious mindset and think about their shoes when there's an issue that pops up. Oh no, absolutely they do. That's what I'm saying. But they're they're not really no longer friends. They're in the family category. So my, kids my... don't deserve the same thing. Huh? Like kids, kids and friends don't deserve. They the same do, thing. but that was my question. Where does? But, but Sasha's saying no. No, but that's what. But, I'm... That, but that's me. That's that's her. But that's what I'm saying. Most people. Ah. Family, like blood family, and then family that's a close knit family will have more tolerance for a member of that family, and that's so they're in a circle to then forgive. They might not forgive them now. It might take them a couple of years. And how is it that you usually see it where they don't fam members, um, siblings don't talk, and someone passes away, okay. and during uh, the wake or whatever, all so, of a sudden they get together so and they me... decided all these years wasted and. The whole context of the story then actually evolves in shift. that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At that moment. But at the moment that it happens, it, it's hard to process it when you've been wronged by someone that you really trust and have loyalty. You know what I'm so, saying? So, like Alex said, children turn into adults and adults become toxic. Absolutely. You, you, so, you're going to consider your kid toxic? If I'm, t if I, if I'm toxic... And I raise my kid. My kid has no choice to you be toxic. You don't know you toxic. Do you know you toxic? <laughs> Me toxic? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just proved my point. Nobody knows no, that no, they're no, toxic. No. Yeah, no. You, you know if you're toxic or no, not toxic. No, a person who is... I don't think damn, so. What's the word? What's the word that oblivious. a person... Oblivious to who they really are mm -hmm. to others. Mm -hmm. They don't know that they're toxic. They don't know that they've been raising their child. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, KKK. They don't know that they've been raising their fucking kids to be toxic. Mm -hmm. But it's it's their belief, and that's how. Yeah, they don't my know, point. right? It's, my it's, point. it's their belief. Well, so, I don't. I don't think that's. Then that's all of a sudden, true. then all of a sudden, you figure out, oh, Latins and black people are, are are actually great people. But my now my child, I've been raising them to be toxic this whole time. What do I do about that? It's the same thing. Like I do have, you forgive them? As, as a racist person, do you forgive your child now because you figured out that Latins and brown people and black people are great? Is it the same thing as your child doing you wrong in other relationships? We're going to let you answer that. <laughs> It, it, I mean, it's, it's tough. It, it is tough. It's nothing is, it's nothing is easy. But understand someone being a certain way. And uh, and that same person doing something to you, it's different. There's a per you can well okay so yeah. listen so say 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 your child is um, a racist for whatever reasons they they're racist they don't like black people they're racist people. because you're racist. I understand but it doesn't matter how why they're racist we're saying that they are racist right mm -hmm. they are my child and okay they might they might have gotten it from me but if I'm a racist and they got it from me. I'm never going to see them as a racist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now, if, if I evolve. Right, that's what I'm okay, saying. So I evolve and I learn and all of a sudden I get an epiphany. I'm like, shit, I've been thinking wrong all these years. Right. Right. So then as a parent, I'm going to go to my child. I said, listen, this is what I learned. Right. And if my child decides, no, you're fucking wrong. Okay. You see what you're saying? Mm -hmm. It goes to my point. 
I haven't even finished my story yet. But what you just said Mm -hmm. goes to my point. Right. My point is that you were being transparent with the child. Well, I eventually evolved. So it it doesn't matter if you evolved or not. At the point, the the fact is, is that you evolved. You had you had something, and you were becoming transparent with your child at this moment. Right. Once I learned, but that doesn't mean that my child at that moment is going to adopt what I just learned. But I also, I am. Yes, they will. No, they, they won't. The shit no, you did no, wrong. no, no, no. If they're an they're, adult, they're yeah. they're already set in their ways. Oh, you're they, talking about an adult. I'm not child. talking about a child. No, I'm I was talking, talking about a child. No, no, a child. Okay, see, okay. T- when it when it comes to children, it's really, I mean, they're they're a sponge, so they're learning. But I'm talking about when you have children that are adults. And they already know what right and wrong is, like at a at a level that they should know. Okay, I sh- I shouldn't be doing this because there's consequences to that. So when you have when you're and that's that type of uh, relationship, um, they're not they might not uh, adopt what I just learned. I'm not gonna think of them any less. Remember, because they're not. Do- now the thing is, the situation I'm th- I'm I'm saying is when you have children who are adults already and they have their own children, right? Like in my instances, I have cousins who don't speak to their parents or their parents don't speak to their children because of certain situations that have happened. And they're and, and they're both they're both they're both adults. They both have their own children and grandchildren, but you know, like my aunt, my aunt hasn't forgiven her son who's my cousin because of the shit that he did. You know what I'm saying? And I think she has forgiven him now after a couple of years, and that goes to sense. But then I have another cousin who hasn't spoken to her mother in ages. In ages. You know, and it's that those alliances. So it's like even time doesn't even tell when a person will forgive. And even the the whole dynamic between mom and and you know father mom and father and mother and their children it you know it's still affecting you know when it's younger kids that's a different story but when you have kids who are adults that's what i'm saying so like as a parent is there a threshold of a child your child as an adult doing something to you that you'll be like Oh fuck no! I can't. I can't handle that shit. And I know what many about people. Kids that try to kill their parents. Oh, that's a, yeah. That's a, well, uh, that's another. Thing. Alex, what the, what shows have you been watching? <laughs> well, she just said that Mackenzie tried to kill her. Wait, let me go back. So, she, Alex is exaggerating right now. Oh, I know. I, absolutely. She said Pornhub, Michael Myers. See, Mackenzie tried to kill me. I don't know. And she pulled the Chucky. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Well, maybe Mackenzie needs therapy. You both need to go and see if she needs something. I'm sorry. You know, and Benita, if she's trying to kill you now, oh, man, I don't know what's going to happen when she gets older. I don't speak to. Because? They did Grammy shit? something I don't want to talk about. No, I don't don't want details. I said. I just, I just, we don't speak. Okay, got you. So it's, 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 it goes both ways. See, like Sony. Sony says, "Sure, kids have a choice, and how they are, re- how they are, regardless of how you are." That is right. As they grow, yeah, as, right. as as they grow, they yeah, become right. adults. Yeah. They have the mindset and the capacity to make their own choices and to know whatever choices they make have consequences, have consequences to it. Absolutely. So it, it it's that's what I'm saying. So as a mother or father and your child, when I say child, like it, it, meaning it's your offspring, but they're an adult. And they do you grimy, do you forgive them? You know, in Sasha's instance, it depends on the situation. But even in that instance, as grave as that is, it would take you time, but eventually you would forgive her. That's my child. That's your child, regardless of what it is. Mm -hmm. I believe, I I don't know because obviously there's not in the situation. But the consensus is still the same. Like, if you. I am of the belief that I would forgive my child. Yeah, but if you're a friend. You can become family, and if you're family, you can become an enemy. And if you're a, f- a family who becomes enemy, there are stipulations and boundaries where that situation can be treated uh, differently. Well, yeah, it depends on the person who who was done wrong and what the, what they tolerate. Why and isn't what it? Why isn't it the same when friends become family? Why don't we give them the same? Th- Respect as when a family I, I becomes. I still think it depends on what happens. Yeah, it, it's it's right? it, yeah, it's a variable. It's 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 an it's, it's an too un- many variables. It's an unknown variable where you can't say because it's, it's not unknown. It's just too many. Variables. You just don't know exactly 
the relationship and two the people have. Because I, what I would do is what he would do, what you would do. So it's you, the individual. You don't want to know what I do. And I won't say what I'm going to do. Muchacha. But I know what Sasha's going to do. She's going to kick me in my mouth. Probably. Yeah, that's a fact. As soon as the camera starts. And, and then... <laughs> So, uh, listen, we're going to be on <laughs> all night long until these two fall asleep. You know, I, I'm not trying to Ray, get into anything. Ray, help me out here, Ray. <laughs> well, help, listen, Ray is another one. Ray, my, that's, I grew up with Ray, okay. right? Ray, Ray lived in the same building as, as, as me and, and my brother. And Ray is considered as a brother. Like, nobody knows him as anything else mm -hmm. in my family. He's my brother. He's like Sid. Like, he can't do wrong to me. Nothing. But it's, it's, there's. That sounds so fishy, but go ahead. I'm nothing. Gonna I'm sorry. You know why, though? I'm going to tell you why. Okay. Because there's an understanding. Mm -hmm. He knows me. Mm -hmm. I know him. Mm -hmm. If I didn't know him the way I know him, he wouldn't be my brother. So, for example, for example. He and I know a couple people mutually, right? If he did something with that person and didn't let me know, mm -hmm. there has to be a reason. You give him the benefit of the doubt because all the time. It's Ray. Okay. And it's Sid. So what happens when they t you find out and the benefit of the doubt was wrong? I need them to explain it. You you need so you would hear them out as well. Super fact. Okay. Super fact. And suppose it's true. And it's it's always true to me. No no no. no what what they did was true. That's fine, but there's a reason behind. I understand. It. So what they give you a reason about it, and you're you still be okay with? It has it. to be a specific situation because. Well, exactly. exactly. My yes. point. Is, my point. But see, my point is. You would hear them out. And right. that's what you're trying to say. That's what I'm trying you're to say. You're just saying your, would, your fam is you're going to hear them I'm out when something happens. Right. There's been situations. I would hear out my children. Yeah, but that's your children. They're fam. You would hear them out. I would hear them out. But if it's your best friend, friend, you didn't hear her out at all. No. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to get to. There was, there was nothing to hear. There was, it does, okay. It doesn't matter, though. You don't want. It does, you're not going to get. So in your even instance. Even if you got see, context, in your mind, you're saying, okay, this person knew me for 20 something years they should know better right in your scenario your your relationships no, in my scenario in my relationships with the two people no i understand with the two people i'm talking about is not that they should know better they know better okay now i know better right but you can't always i wouldn't cross the line just like they would never cross the right, line right but then just what like happened she knew not to cross the line then that's her fault that's why she's out. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So now. But what you're trying to say basically is you're in a circle. If they do do something that's questionable toward you, right? You're going to hear them out. You're going you're gonna to sit down and have a conversation. Have a conversation. Right? I'm like, yo, why the fuck did you do this to me? So forth and so on. Right? And you it, didn't do nothing. We're talking about hypothetical. <laughs> and then once you have that conversation, you tell me I'm talking to my phone like Ray's there. Yeah, I'm like, hey, well, uh, you didn't do anything. We just talking hypothetical. So yeah. in your instance, you're going to hear them out. Now the question is, once you get the information and say they what they did was grimy, and there was no rhyme or reason for them to do it just because they you don't did. know there's no rhyme or reason. I don't know, but I'm saying you I gotta hear it out. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a hypothetical. You you yeah, find but my bias is different at that point. You're not understanding. Listen. Yeah, yeah you're right. Go you're ahead. not understanding. You already have that bias and you have this relationship, in, right? <laughs> so <laughs> so now you know. You sit down. Ray did something grimy to you. You know it. you're hurt. You sit down. And you have this conversation with him, right? And then, what did Ray say? I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> so, he tells you, and it's some bullshit that he tells you what the reason is, right? And you're not satisfied with that shit. Like, really? Like, I would never think that you would do something to me. And that's what you're basically saying. You're saying, you would never do something to me. And he does. And he explains it, and the reasoning is fucking bogus. Now what? 
You ready for this? Yeah. Okay. It's the type of relationship you have. I'm going to explain that. Yeah, but I'm I, go with Ray. Stick with Ray. This is what I'm talking okay, about. Okay, stick with it's Ray. It's the type of relationship you have. Okay. I know Ray. This is interesting. This is Ray. If Ray did something grimy to me, there's a reason behind it. I understand that, but I already told you okay. the reason was bogus. Okay, let me finish. Okay. Even if it was bogus, uh -huh. it mattered to him. I have a problem with that. That's you. It is me. This is where we differ. And that's why I said and this is where, person. But see, this is where you, you either a friend, a family, or a foe. Listen to what I'm saying. I understand that friends get a different treatment than family, and family get a different treatment than foe. I understand that. But if Ray tells me, for example, Ray, this is just an example. I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying He's to listening. Ray, Ray's I'm, listening. I'm trying to think of the worst thing you can do so I can explain this to them. Let's say Ray called me, right? And Ray said, yo, two months ago, you were having problems with Mia. I spoke to Mia. I came down. Mia and I did something. Okay. You can't get you can't get grimier can't, than that. You can't get grimier than no, that, right? Absolutely not. Damn, <laughs> Ray. Damn, Ray. Who do I get mad at? Okay, I mean, that's up to you. You're just gonna get mad at her? Who do I'm asking you, who do I get mad at? Both. Who do I get mad at? Both. Okay. Okay. Here's my thing. Mm hmm I get mad at both. Mm hmm So you forgive him. But exactly. You know why? Um, why? Because she should know better. And he did. He and he doesn't. No, it's not that he doesn't. Uh huh. But I gotta go. to me, no. Listen, listen yeah, to what I'm saying. Can't. You can't listen to what I'm saying. <laughs> listen, I'm sorry. Okay, it's not that. It's not that I forgive him all the way. Mm -hmm. It's that I'm not gonna be mad at him because I don't live with him. I don't. I don't. He's my brother. But what we said earlier, we can forgive somebody and keep them at an arm's distance. Right. Okay. You're but gonna forgive him for you. Exactly. Okay, so you're not But going her, to for she you. gonna get the brunt of it. Okay. Because she should know better. But you ain't fucking with Ray anymore either. At that point. Damn, I, Ray. Listen, what I said, I forgive him. He can come to the family meetings. He can come to the funerals. He can come to whatever. Oh, really? That doesn't mean that I got to fuck with him. Oh, but you're going to allow him in your circle. You're still allowing him That's in, not my in, circle. in your space. That's not my space. Okay. That's not my circle or my space. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, it's not about, it's not about okay. right and wrong. It's, it's about, about how you so feel. It's about how I feel. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. I, so I, I don't. I will forgive him because I know Ray. I'm killing both of them. I'm sorry. Yeah, see? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, I'm killing both sorry, of them. I'm so sorry. Space, so much space on this camera. <laughs> you know, but so much space on this camera. You stop uh, announcing this. Oh, shit. But, you know, it's, it's, again, like, and I understand. Family becomes friends. Friends becomes en become enemies. And I get it. But every person deserves a certain level of not respect what's the word of bias i guess is the word could be could be like your kids your you're adult kids your adult kids you're going to tolerate you gotta pose something that question. more you pose that question to two of my most the, the people that i may love and know the most okay. no disrespect to anybody you're talking about I just, Ray? I, I'm just the president. I know, I know. <laughs> you, you're, learning, you're learning now. I understand. You're, you're talking about Ray and Mia. So in my case, I got to look at that and say, this is my brother, friend to a brother, and this is my friend to a wife. Okay. So you would forgive them. I would forgive them, and it's but I would right. I would still. Are well, you getting a divorce? Uh, yeah, I would still get a divorce. I would still blame her. But you would still have some type of relationship with Ray. Yes. Wow. The relationship would be extremely minimal. He said arm's length. 
it okay. would be extremely minimal. But <laughs> it won't. It yeah. won't. Alex is like, nah. It won't. It won't be. <laughs> It won't be like a friend who became an automatic enemy where it's on on site. There's okay. certain people that that I will fuck up on site. Why are you pointing at me? I've been dying. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, bro. You see, I oh, think dying. I I think this podcast is over because wow. I'm going home. Wow. Shit. I'm always looking for a reason to fight you. Holy. fuck. Fuck, man. You, know you this. had you six had, years. This is new. Shit, you have some animosity. You need to That's go some behind do, the scenes shit. You, you need, need to, to do some about. MMA shit. Y'all need to go in the green like room that. for this shit. Holy crap, bro. Thank Yo, you, Alex. Thank I understand you. that you will fuck both of them up, but at the end of the day, you gotta forgive yourself. Because obviously... Oh, you don't have to forgive yourself. You did nothing wrong. Nigga, you did something wrong for your wife to go that way. Not necessarily. Yes. yes. No. Yes. That's a different topic. Okay, we're talking... Okay, we're write talk it down, write it down. Wow. So you're telling me that you don't know your wife enough to know that she won't go that way? Okay, people, unless you fuck up? No, the, people the cheat for different reasons. Yes. Yeah. What if she got drunk or high? That's not an excuse. No, we're not talking about excuses. We're talking about how things happen, how things transpire. Okay. There's not. There's times where things transpire okay. that actually are not really. So she got drunk. She got high. Right. We were in a party, and her and and one of my. But friends it had nothing. Up. You didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? You're saying forgive nah. yourself. You didn't do anything. Nah, nah. And this is how I feel. Okay. No. I hear you. My wife won't do that. If she did do that, do that, it would it would resolve. It would. The point is making a divorce. Okay, your wife wouldn't do that, but according to you, your boy wouldn't do it either. Yeah, but if my boy did it, mm -hmm. I'm not divo I'm not married to him. I don't know. I think. Uh, Tell me. Nah. Give me your, I'm Alex, Alex is not getting cut, cut off time. My boyfriend Everybody has, getting cut off, Alex? My boyfriend had sex with my bestie. Ray said, that's my brother, shit. Like, we, like... That will never happen, so he's not... Yeah, that, but that, we're not talking name, about that, Ray. Right? You were just we, Yeah, you were just the name, and because our relationship is a lot deeper than a lot of other people, that's why we put it there, to, to heighten the scenario. Yeah, you were just the name, Ray. Don't, yeah, don't we know. just heighten the scenario with you and Mia, because you two, you know, besides a couple, like, in my hand, we discussed this earlier, there's a couple of people that, that are um, very important to me, but if... In that circle, something happened and it hurt me. I would probably put more mindset to it. I, that's just no. I know you would hear them out. You want to hear them out. You want to hear the whole story. You're yeah. like, yo, what like? But if it's what was friend, behind the action? You know, if it's a friend, I know, friend, acquaintance, all that. No, no. But the whole thing is where people give themselves a status of in your life. That's my compi. That's my that's my boy. That's my fan. Like yeah, pe people, I know some like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People yeah. people put themselves in your lives, and give themselves a higher status than what you actually think of them. You know what I'm saying? You have people like that. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. First of all, I know oh, I'm at the bottom. Of, I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. No, you're the fourth one. <laughs> Wait, you're the fourth phone call. Uh, I'm not, yeah, like, that's the funny shit. Like, no. I thought I was your first. I ended up being, like, wow. number eight on your fucking list. I'm like, wow. That shit hurt me. Oh, my like, God. I'm, I'm done. I'm done, yo. This this podcast for tonight is over. That's it. Yo, how you get home? <laughs> yo, that shit hurt. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm joking. I love you. I'm exhausted right now. I need to go home. That's it. That's it. Wow. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's and, a wrap. And, and, is that Anthony who I think it is? Yes, it is. Holy wow. moly. What's up, man? Any, Any so-called so friend sleep with your sitting man is no friend at all. Point Thank blank. You. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. but that's your mindset. It's friend true. or family. It it's don't true. matter. Well, it's, I'm it's not like, I, I'm not I'm not degrading that point. No, no. But you're in your scenario, you would give the time of day to your family. You the, the one you no, call no, in the I wouldn't I wouldn't even say time or day. I would just give that person the time, not the day. To explain. To explain. They play you make judgment. Right. Judgment. Whereas hey, you're a not friend, even a judgment. You make a decision. Whereas a friend, you're not getting even the time. Okay. 
You understand? No, no I, absolutely. I, yeah, well, yeah. I, You're wrong. not even in a fucking room. We're not even having right. a conversation. And I could be wrong because my friend would know better. And I get it. And I understand why everybody's saying, oh, you know, da 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 da. I get it. No, absolutely. Yeah. But I, I, I feel like. You're basing it off your relationship with yes. him in particular. Yeah. And I, I might be wrong. I, I could be wrong. No, no, no. It, it's it's, it's no, not about it's right or wrong. wrong. It's, it's not wrong. about right or wrong because, That's remember, this, everybody has their own personal feelings right. and their own personal views and tolerances right. of what are, you know what they would do in that scenario. But you know what, too? Um, and it's hypothetical, so there's no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's but, hypothetical. But, but, you, but to, you know, it's, it's to, to see the mindset... Of where a person, like, how far can you push a person before they snap? Where they say, oh, no, this is where I, this is where I draw the line. And as Mia says, boundaries. Where are the boundaries that you set for yourself in regards to people in your life? And obviously, people that are in your inner circle, the boundaries are much bigger. You know what I'm saying? You might not even have boundaries with those people. But then as, you know, you have tears, you know, you have friends, acquaintances, co-workers, and every single one has a boundary in your life. Yep. And we miss you too, man. So thanks for coming you know, that, on, brother. That, that's 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 the whole thing but, about that. You know, another thing we got to look at too is um, who's texting you? Yeah, what's going on here? <laughs> Tell your boyfriends that you you in between two guys right now. I am in between two guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would love that for you to hurt. send that, that text to someone. That would hurt. That would hurt. <laughs> I would love for you to send the text to someone like that, I and then we're like, never "What the fuck?" I'm going to tell you guys about my dating life ever again. <laughs> I was just—I just want to know the person exp- fucking facial expression when they read it. I, I can't talk to you right now because I'm in between two guys. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do it. Also, I like that you're here. You you create a balance right now. Uh, I like this. I like this. Thank I you like for coming that. on, Alex. Alex says, even I'm though you try to run gross. away from us. But thank you for so, staying with us. I'm terrified us. right now. Yeah. Are you? You should be comfortable right now. Why should I be comfortable? Really? You're not comfortable? You've had wine and you I've just talk. And you've had a lot of You think so? No. That's, I don't know what this no, is. No, that's only half a bottle. Y'all haven't gone through that's a lot That's not even it. a bottle. That's a freaking... That's a 40 ounce. Muy gankio. 40 ounce. <laughs> with some Hawaiian punch. Muy gankio. So, okay, I sent it. Who did you send it to? We're not going to say who. Oh. We're going to cover it. Who did, I mean, when I say not give names, no, like, I'm not gonna tell you that it's, probably it's, gonna, it's no, it's is probably, it a good friend. Listen, what if it's a friend? What if it's a friend, like a girlfriend, and she says to her, "I'm between two guys right now," and that friend says, "Oh, that's normal." <laughs> Or she says, where are you? Can I join you? You know? Wow. Like that. I didn't go that far. <laughs> I didn't go that far. Uh, Anything saying. is possible, guys. Exactly. I hate. Anything is I possible. Hate. Yo, this is a great show. I like yeah, the show. Yeah. This is a good show. We Listen, we took, a, we took a negative topic and we, listen, shout out to you guys. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for, to Sasha. That, you made this a great show because yeah. this was going to turn bad. I want you to know. It would have never turned back. I was going to say some shit. No, it would have never turned back. You was going to stop me? Oh, of course. Yeah, okay. Thank you. See, that's a real friend because I was going to say some stuff. But uh, this was a great show. I love it. We just, we got our point across without giving too much detail and context in regards to any situation. So the point, the point came across. I think it came across fairly, fairly easy. Um, And, um, that's that's all that was needed to be said. That's that's all it is. No one needs to know details. Can we change like topic that. though? Well, now I know I, I'm I'm part of the family. Ah, uh, well, that's we still that's still. <laughs> this under. is bullshit. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's still <laughs> under advisement. I'm like, sorry. Oh, I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know no, about this. I don't, I don't know about, about this. that. <laughs> we'll talk about it, baby. We'll talk about all it. All right. So, Sasha, are you a sports fan? I am. What do you watch? Basketball, a little baseball. Who are you fan? Who, who are you a fan? Remember her daughter. Her daughter's a baller. I'm yeah, her daughter's yeah, a baller. Yeah, yeah, I, told yeah, you I know her. that. Yeah. Hello, I'm, we're not talking about that. I, we're getting there. Hello, she ran an athletic department. Yeah. Can I? Jesus Christ! This is for the people who don't know her. Well, we we kind of introduced her earlier. No, in the show. they probably forgot, like me. Oh yeah, no! Talk again while you guys argue and. No. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so, you watch your daughter plays what? She played basketball. Okay. So do you watch uh, the WNBA? No. Do you watch NBA? I watch the NBA. Who's your favorite team? I don't have a favorite team. Do you watch Major League Baseball? I do. Who's your favorite team? 
We don't do Mets around here. That, that was your whole point, just to get to the Yankees? No, I just, I just, <laughs> you know, I just I had to highlight that. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, so let me ask you this question. Thank you, Ant. Appreciate it. If you if you got with a dude mm-hmm. in your dating life mm-hmm. who doesn't, I didn't bring this shit up. <laughs> I didn't bring this shit up. If you got with a dude in your dating life who doesn't watch sports, mm-hmm. would you continue to date him? Yeah. Why? Because I don't watch sports that frequently. You don't think sports help a relationship? Where the fuck are you going with this? <laughs> Nothing. Aspects of people's lives help relationships. Let me explain something to you. I think in all my relationships, none of the females like sports. That's why you don't fucking have a girl now. I guess so. Hello. Oh, wow, wow, wow. She responded (laughs) just like you did. Oh, shit. Listen, we're not going to go back to that. I don't want to go back to that. Listen. Exactly. Nelson's single for a reason, and you heard his fucking response. I need a woman that loves sports. It's not Nina Wiener. That's my girl. We got that. Here's my girl. Here's my girl. Just in time, right before we're gonna my girl. sign Hello. off. Nina, that's Sasha. That's Sasha, that's, Sasha, that's Nina. How are you? Sorry, I'm just keeping in my hand. How are you? What the hell you have in your hand? Oh, okay. How was work? Oh my gosh, you reminds me of my daughter. Mm-hmm. She just cut her hair. Her hair. She had Can curls. I get some of your food? Natural curls. No, I got some. Man, that's what she's like. Her mother, fucking stingy. Oh, <laughs> wow, wow, oh wow, gosh, she's wow. Gorgeous. Thank you, man. We appreciate Listen, you, man. You need to talk to Alex because Alex would be like, she wants to know about the date. She wants to know about what the oh text was. God. So you need to talk to Alex. Like, you need to chime in or whatever because Alex is going to stalk your ass. She can stalk me. Okay, it's fine. Hey, uh, thank you very much. We we strive to be entertaining. Entertaining and. But just so you know, and because I, I don't know how many shows you've been on, this is temporary for me. Mia is. Tell me back. His ace. I'm not his ace. I'm just the sexy guy who hangs around. I be hang. Just so you know. So hopefully Mia will be on soon, and hopefully you'll still follow. Thank you for coming through. We appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for everybody. Sasha, Mia, Fias, thank you for coming. Mia's all right. Welcome. Mia's all right. She's not as entertaining as I am. I, I, I hear that. I hear you know that. I hear that but... She's not as cute as I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm well, saying? Sasha, thank you for coming and drinking our wine. And, you know, and, I will and, always and, come and, for the wine. <laughs> she will always come for the wine. Yeah. Thank you. I hope the rest of your vacation first is, of all, is fun. First of all, don't let that man tell you drinking our wine. That's the green room's wine. Thank That's you. number one. I thank You're welcome. That. It doesn't matter who brought it, even thank though you. it came out of his pocket. Um, well, okay. you're, you're always welcome. You're always yeah. welcome. Yeah. Actually, everybody's always welcome to the green room. Fact. You Fact. know, if you if you give love, Fact. you know, we give love as well. So thank you very much. I appreciate everyone coming and, you know, sitting with us on this but Sunday. I, I do want to ask one question, though. Okay. What's, what's the name of your line? My Nate. My Nate. Yeah, I got to go. Can we Google that? If it Googles, if we I, Google I it. She put, she put, she put them Listen, on. She go put in the comments, in the comments and look she... on for Sasha's comment for her, for her line. It's uh, El... vegan. Hair care, skin care. There you go. Oh, I can't that's... say it. I... You were asking me about hair care. I know. It's vegan hair care. Skin oh, I can't care. even go that Nelson's far. Nelson's worse looking for it. No, it can't go up. I can't go up any You're further. Gonna, to it's, the a yeah, it's a lot of comments. Yeah, it's a lot of comments. It's a lot of comments. Thank you but for they everybody are, for making comments. Yeah, they yeah. are. They are on. They are on the comment pages. You know, they're linked on. So and where is it? Wait, Nelson. What happened with Lowe's? Oh, Lowe's. The Lowe's whirlpool story is still ongoing. Oh my god. So I'll, wow. I I'll probably have an update this Who's week. And we will see how how it thanks Alex for uh, for asking, but it's going. But my refrigerator is working again, so that's 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 how a good news. How is it year. working? They got it fixed. Who got it fixed? Um, they, Lowe's? No, not Lowe's. The third party um, vendor that came out that to fix. Really so then, why continue with Lowe's? 
knows it because they they, they fucking gotta pay. Oh, they got to pay. pay. They got to pay. That <laughs> assistant manager, they pay. Just because it's working don't mean that they got to pay. I wasn't fucking disturbed in my life. Fuck that. That was almost a month and a half, almost two months. Fuck you. All his meat went sour. Oh, all my meat always goes sour. <laughs> There, there it is. There, there we go. Oh, no, he trying to, to switch it up. Oh, oh go. my God. We're going to pin this comment right here. <laughs> and on that note, everyone, have a good night. Thank you for showing up for Aces Up Podcast. Oh, yeah. Always like, share, you know, always all those good things. Love, Spread the word. Laugh and live. And always love, laugh, and live. Okay, people? We love you. We'll see you next week. Take we care. might have another special guest. Okay. It won't be her. So just to let you know. But we still we still got love. We still got love yeah, for you. Yeah, Don't yeah. kick me in my mouth once we're done. I'm just that letting you know. No, that's happened. some bullshit right there. Yeah. We'll talk after the show. No, no, we're not talking about no after show or nothing like that. No, we'll no, no, no. Thank you, everybody. Everybody, love y'all, love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. <laughs>